Good day, day, our creatures of virus chain ratings, and welcome to Kingdom of Aldana, where death is not an obstacle, but an employment opportunity. Previously, on our session, the hero stones have tested Lord Edge, subjecting him to a zone of truth, and taunting him with his son's death, satisfied with the outburst of anger that proved that he was indeed Lord Edge and not a hidden dragon. Uh, the Hero's Talents have stayed on their tower ambush as Lord Edge has stormed off. Your short rest has passed quietly with no dragons seemingly coming. And as you grew restless with this peace, you notice a strange lack of activity in the castle where Albert and his guards have gone off to. Coming to the castle, you've noticed, oh, well, found uh, corpses of Albert's guards slain in a swift and brutal manner. You made your way to Albert's office to find an unresponsive Lord Edge and Albert being held by the neck by an unseen assailant. Attempting to, cr to undertake a hostage exchange, the Unseen Dragon didn't seem to trust your claims very much, and as the negotiation broke down swiftly, the fight broke out. With two more sister dragons uh, joining the fray, Battlefield has quickly grown rather chaotic, and although you slaughtered the brother, Aris has taken a bit too much of a risk and was shockingly killed. Capturing one of the sisters, you allowed the other one escape, and are now figuring out how, where, and when you will, if you will, be resurrecting Carlos. Now, with you uh, moaning and wondering about, the midday comes, so Trigger, you get your prominence charge, and I would like to know in exact details your plan of actions. Well, first of all, I would like to um, jump out the window, transform into a dragon, and, uh, you know, get, um, do like a perimeter scoop check if I notice anything out of the ordinary. Oh, uh, sure. Make me a perception check. Uh, 19. All right. I think your passive is 22, is it, Dragon? 23? Yeah. Uh, 24. Oh, wow. Uh, that's what it takes to overcome the Laura. Um, you, yeah, you do, um, I guess, like, Circle of Victory above the city. And aside from noticing that the streets are pretty damn empty, like there are very little people on the streets, and whoever are on the streets uh, move, uh, trying to stay, you know, in like shadows, clinging to the walls. And whenever you pass by, the people swiftly run into buildings or into narrow alleyways. Uh, Let's put it that way, you don't notice anything that would require the immediate attention of your party. Okay, then I will get back to the group. And I would say... Let's find a securable room and get this resurrection attempt started. I mean, we're probably in the most secure place. Which has no wall anymore. Yeah, that's what I say. You just blow up a wall to get in here. Or melt it, I believe, with acid. I mean, I mean, yeah, we, there, there are probably a few rooms, I would hope. Uh, you are no room. longer where you think you are, if I remember correctly, you have moved to the secret, secret trans, uh, teleportation circle room where Anna was hiding, Anna was. because you needed Kavagas to send some messages. I oh, don't believe yeah, you right. have sent well, any messages yet, but 
I mean, you didn't know about it, so... <laughs> that sounds then, uh, good. I think that's the spot. I'll remind you that Kazar sent me a message. I can still respond. Uh, what was the message? Remind me. She said, carry on as as planned without resing Arliss. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, don't reply. Yet. Is there a time limit? Not by the rules. Sorry. I'm gonna say you have at least an hour. Or I mean, I mean, I mean, what do you want to tell her? Tell her like, yeah, we'll try our best. I mean, to be I mean, fair, your original him. message implied that you're gonna take a lot of time trying to resurrect him, and she said you don't have time yeah. to do that. So, so she wants Arles dead. Okay. Well, <laughs> she doesn't mind Arles dead, but it's more like. You can't afford to take no, the no, no, resurrecting no. him. She, she, she wants him dead. I, I get it. Yeah. Right, fine. Sure. Um, I mean, who doesn't? I mean, even the Aris wants Aris dead. No, no, not Arliss. Let's tell him you're mistaking. Uh, well, then tell her uh, we still have some resources left and we'll uh, tell her should anything change from the previous plan. I didn't understand. Like, Tell her um, we will contact her again it, should we need to uh, deviate from the original plan. Okay. That uh, way she has a confirmation and... Okay. Uh, I'll tell her exactly that. Should I also add in uh, that we're going to try and res him today? Does he care? I don't think so. I'll throw it in as well. Okay, huh? sure. So what do you say? Trago would think that Kazar cares. <laughs> sure, Trago would. So what do you say in total? Um, we will contact you if we deviate from the plan. Gonna attempt to res our list today. Huh? Sure, you sound that. Um, so let's try the big one. Wait, you want to do use wish to gain true resurrection? I thought we were doing that. No, the it, next just day. use so no, just use wish to get uh what's the resurrection? Yeah, that resurrection. Oh, you said big one, that's why. Okay. I mean, it is using wish. Uh, that's the big one. I mean, technically you could also use it to to cast raise dead, which would be the smartest way because then we get three attempts. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. I mean, that's up to you all. It's your it, call. it doesn't matter, honestly. It by by the spell, you don't need a material component, and as long as you don't use true resurrection, I think if we don't achieve, achieve what we want to achieve after the se second attempt, isn't there a time restriction on Ray's dead? Yeah, it's ten days. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'd say let's try raise dead again. Sure. Okay. Out of character, that's a horrible idea in comparison. Why? You well, try. You have three dead tries. Dead a penalty. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah, he's right. Well, then don't. Oh no, use no, no that resurrection one. has it too. I'm fucking idiotic apparently. It's okay. I think only two what resurrection penalty? does the damage. Yeah, uh, only two resurrection does the damage. All this is over. So either way, we'd have to wait a day or two for our list to be at full strength. Um, we would have to wait four days, or yeah. we wait until right. tomorrow and I cast True Resurrection. 
and I'll be in Kieran form. Wait, what's the penalty? Minus four penalty yeah, to attack rolls, four saving to throws, all. and abilities checks. Yeah. Oh. Because yeah. this doesn't and make him... He's one by one. It doesn't make him much weaker offensively, but it definitely tanks his defenses. Yeah, that's for his dead. Now I see it's on the bottom. Uh, it's it's everywhere apart from true apparently. Well, but it doesn't well, matter. Yes, but reincarnate is reincarnate. The idea is we do need your level nine circle spell for tomorrow. Um, no, I can be a Kirin tomorrow. That allows me to heal everyone. I will definitely not be as uh, offensive. Uh, uh, back. Uh, I, honestly, honestly, I didn't feel like I contributed anything worthwhile today in the dragon form. You, you actually did. You were yeah. getting Burst. spanked a lot where we couldn't get that spanked. Sure, but in the Kieran form, you all can get spanked, and I can cover that. But when we got advice from that, oh gosh, I can't remember her name. Um, the dragon lady. And um, is there. that dragon going to fight two her more guardian? dragons tomorrow? No, but I she don't... did suggest you be a dragon, not the Kieran form. And I don't give a shit about her opinion. Okay. I care about your opinions. If you say I should be a dragon, then I'll be a dragon tomorrow. But if we want to true resurrect Arlis, that's not going to happen. I personally like the idea of having healing, but I'm not much of a... I don't know much about battle strategies. That's not my forte. That's neither one of our forte. We just run into the danger and slap whatever we face. That's our tactic. So make a choice. The saving throws is a bit obnoxious. This is out of character, I'm thinking. But if he stays next to me, then it kind of evens out, I guess. A bit like the plus two instead of a plus six. I mean, it doesn't matter. There's no other option. There is. No, True Resurrection is a much worse option if you think long term. For tomorrow, right. it's a, because you could use that level 9 spell for something else. No, there, look, there, there's gonna be no difference in this. Just do whatever you want today, and that's the best. Because if it doesn't work today, it's not gonna work at all. In that case, try True Resurrection today. I can't. No, but Melora can. No, don't risk Wish. She can't copy the Resurrection with Wish. Oh. Because the Resurrection is a level 9 spell, you can't 9-9. Nine, nine. You can only 1-8. to eight. I mean, okay. well, yeah. The only way she can do it is she uses Wish to make an out-of-bounds Wish, and then, yeah, she risks to lose Wish permanently. But she can't just copy it for free. That would have made Wish... Oh, yeah, which a bit, well, I mean, it's already pretty good, but... I mean, it's already overpowered, but yeah. Uh. Okay, so let's just go with this. Let's try it. Okay. If we resurrect him today, out of character, that will be reduced to a minus three, because we get at least one long rest. True. So that essentially halves the bonus that that he gets from uh, from your aura. Yes. And is he going to use uh, attack rolls? Uh, it's mostly about DC stuff that he just oh. flings around, so that doesn't affect it. Yeah. Okay, let's do the resurrection thing. I think that's the best option because yeah. If he doesn't come back, we just have to... Well, it doesn't matter. Um, let's see where things go. My vote is on normal resurrection attempt today. I 
I'm okay with that. Drago. Um, mm-hmm. Sardos. Let's do it. That's what we're gonna do. You seem conflicted. And it's. It doesn't matter too much. It's, if we're gonna do it, we should. We should mm, go ahead and try. I mean, a little worried about bringing him back weakened, but it's only so much other options, so many other options we have. That and risking wish can be troublesome. Look, if things go really badly and we have him with us, he can teleport us out. If we don't have him with us, we are weaker in any case. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely saying we definitely need him, just how we get him back is... Well, we knew that fighting the dragons head-on would have its price at some point. We gotta make it work. There's no other choice. Doesn't matter thinking about it. Should we get oh. this started, or is there anything you want to discuss first? I'm ready when you are. Uh, let's just hope the more, I guess, would be benevolent person has his soul. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Define a, ben- a benevolent person. <laughs> I guess the one that would be more on our side. I think it's only Neither benevolent. the Raven Queen yeah. nor the nor Nevek are really benevolent. Yeah. And definitely not a person. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I still hope for the Raven Queen, sure. Well, whoever we stand a better chance at getting him back from. Yeah. Whichever one that may be. Yeah, whichever one may that be. Alrighty. I have never done something like this before, but let's see how this works. And just to clarify, we're doing the regular resurrection, not raised dead, correct? Yes, the eleven, the level seven one. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, um, honey, do do you remember the different circles that um, uh, Salon drew? I I I don't remember the outlay he did, so that way we could talk to the gods. Well, the good news are, if you're using Wish, you don't need to know that. It just happens. Oh, okay. You just, it's like... You cheat. It's autocomplete. (laughs) Okay. uh, The the only issue is, like, you need to make sure you type in enough of a spell you want to cast, otherwise you may just get, like, true... God, doctors hate through this resuscitation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she is going to walk over to Erlis's body and kneel down. And um, disintegrate. How do I want to word this? <laughs> through disintegrate, which yes. is lying, which is lying right next to uh, Lord's Edge body yes. and. Uh, uh, our wish is to bring Arliss back to us with the seventh level circle spell to bring us, bring the dead back to us. Please allow us to revive him. We need him. Um, sure. You said be specific. Uh, well, 
You need to be specific when you're using wish to do a wish. You're not using wish to do a wish. You're using wish to replicate a spell. So technically, oh, okay. your wording sounds like what you don't want to do. But since I do know what you want to do and what you intend to do, yeah, it's fine. Don't worry. Uh, you gave wish to the wrong person. <laughs> uh, well, I definitely didn't want to give it to anybody who's going to use it well. So no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can you imagine me giving a wish to Zardos? He'd already be like, okay, so I want a wish to be the most powerful vampire ever. I want a truck of blood. I want a new sword. <laughs> and I want it now. No, no, he would wish for a decanter of blood. Where it just endless blood. Endless blood yeah. yeah. Actually, that's yeah. pretty good. And then he like, gets a cap with, you know, like those cans and like things going through your mouth <laughs> and the cap says make Nevekara great again <laughs> oh god there uh, it is yeah those stupid living people they steal our jobs and our corpses <laughs> all right <clears throat> so you cast the spell and uh, though you have no really well, very little uh, knowledge on how this is supposed to be. You see as uh, the body of Ardis lights up and around him a pattern of magical circles begin to draw itself as they draw into a familiar array that Salan and other allies of yours have replicated so many times. You see the sigils of different gods engraved upon the ground and catch your breath as you wait for the 12th sigil to be drawn. Arles, roll me the 20, please. It's the Great Oak! All right. And with that, you see a green flame light up momentarily as a skull with a single eye inscribes itself upon the circle. And here is where I would like everybody to chill out for a couple minutes. I need Arliss. Should we just use Wish? If there's, a, if there's a different channel to talk tactics. <laughs> Don't turn cameras off. That fucks up the layout. Just. Right. Yeah, just uh, deafen and mute. All right. Uh, yeah, Tal, I mean, go away. Go away. Right. Right. Everything's gone. Anymore, Doesn't like matter. Doesn't matter. Fine. Let's go. After we finish the party, he's gonna come back. Yeah. Right, uh, so, Arles, you feel the terrible pain of as lightning course through your body and your heart stops and darkness envelops you. The next thing you see is a green light behind your eyes as you are shocked back to consciousness and you stand up to find yourself top of what looks like a ziggurat. There's four torches glowing in ethereal green flame, throwing its light upon the steps and upon the altar upon which you lie. But it feels very light and not quite there. As you get up and look around and well, it's not the first time you've died, so the knowledge of where you must be comes quickly. And considering the surroundings and the furniture, well, there's not much doubt as to who has got you. Yeah.
you see a flash of green flame as a familiar tall lanky figure operates. It's not familiar to me, it's okay. I don't know him. Caught him? No. Oh, right, you haven't. Right. Well, unfamiliar, but known to give us a description of your allies. Tall, lanky figure in green robes with pale skin, glowing left eye operates next to you. And you hear the unpleasant, squeaky voice reach your mind as the figure implores. Greetings, hero! It is not every day that I get souls as tasty as yours. Hi. Now, you must have heard of me. For I yep, see no pleasure guy. upon your face. For having hey, finally the guy met my me. Body and didn't get it, right? That's the one? You might have. Yeah, so, yes, you are familiar to me. Please continue. Your friends are seeking your return. And really, I'm happy to oblige. After all, death is negotiable. Not sure what you mean. Just you mean when it happens? I mean that there is a toll upon everyone who passes through my domain. And if you wish to pay it, you may be returned to your friends until the next time you die. Okay, I'm, I'm curious because it feels like. Uh... I already lost all there is to lose in this game, so tell me more. Benevolent as I am, you possess a choice. Three methods of payment. A payment of life, of soul, or of a deed. So either I do some shit for you, I pay you with my soul, or what is life? I kill other things? Kill for me, do shit for me, I give you soul to me. Yeah, I'll go with um, killing gigantic dragons for you, is that an option? No. A deed or a life will be specified. And if you fail to do that within the limits that we agree upon, the payment of soul will be automatically extracted upon you when you fail to fulfill your part of the deal. So what you're saying is actually it's only either kill shit for me or get other shit for me done. And the third one is sort of the default option you go back to. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna regret either one of these, am I not? So... Fuck, it will take the get shit done option. Very well. Worst case, I pay with my soul if I'm not willing to do what you want, so... Works for me. Indeed. In that case, the deal. You must return to my tomb within a year upon your resurrection and retrieve an artifact from a specific chamber. You will then give this artifact to the one who requests it from you. Upon completion, our deal shall be completed, and you will have an opportunity to take the rest of your mortal life until it is complete. And like something's gonna go horribly wrong, yes, of course. Hmm? I mean, quick question, what is the fourth option? If I choose to not go back, you don't get my soul? I don't. 
Oh, we said that right. That is correct. Though your passage through my realm empowers me either way. Yeah, but I mean, that one's a lot, sort of a little too late, you know, I'm just trying to look out for me, basically, right? Because I imagine my existence, if you have my soul, will be a little less enjoyable in the afterlife than if you don't have it. Many of those end up under my command. Do not complain. <laughs> I'm sure they can't, yes. Um... I am not a tyrant like the crown. Yes, yes, of course. Oh. Sure. Can you specify it one more time? I go through, I go to the tomb, I get a specific artifact, and whenever someone who comes to look for me requests um, it from me, then yes, um, okay, then I have to give it to him. Or mm, indeed. A simple sure. task, okay. is it not? I'm sure it's not, but uh, we'll be fine. You know? And then we have an agreement. You'll fuck me over. You'll fuck me over pleasantly, so I'm down. The being extends its hands. Hand. And an offer of a seal. Oh, we can't just, like, agree on it? Sure. Hand is cool and smooth to the touch. Not nearly as unpleasant as expected. At least not physically. As you do, green flashes behind your eyes. As you find yourself in a tiny room. Colored in black and white, and your friends scampering about, preparing a ritual. As you, a disembodied soul, observe their attempts. They didn't get it, did they? I did get it. The rest just didn't. <laughs> I cast mass less restoration upon everybody. I can hear again. Alright. Let's see. Ah, bum, 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 bum. Param, 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 param. Alright. So, uh, yes, as the sigil of Saint Nebek is drawn, you see the light fills the room. As, as every time before, a giant celestial appears in front of you with a book of lives as he intones. The rites of resurrection are ancient and pure. It is upon this hallowed ground that you call upon the greatest honor a mortal may receive, an attempt for a second chance. I am Azariel, scribe of the seven heavens. Who is it that you conduct this rite on behalf of? Oh, out of character, I forgot his last name. Shit! Carlos often fails. <laughs> <laughs> um, Melora says for it, our list often fails. Book in the hands of a scribe, flutters pages sent. Holmes, as he reads upon the book, speaks. The soul you ask for is able and willing. The right may commence. And this is a body wireless, igniting flames, as all the sigils light up and surround you in the serial flames. The pyre burns, and each of the speakers is present and prepared. Speak on behalf of the one you wish to see returned, but remember the ones who stand here to judge your words. Do I see the Raven Queen? Uh, no. Symbol? 
you see the symbol of Satan. I'll stand on that one then. High risk, high reward. <laughs> Hello. I'll stand on hell. Is Pelor's sigil still here? Uh, I believe so. Yes. Okay, I'll stand on his. Well, Leo's took the gamble I was going to take, so I'll just. I don't know, just pick one. Yeah, you really should have had the other stand on the undead sigil. <laughs> I mean, we can still change. I can't remember if... I know so, it begins with C-H. Is that the uh, one for Harvest? Yes. Yeah, is that one there? Yes. Actually, I'll stand on that one. Yeah. Ooh, let Zardo stand on Paylor. I mean, there's always uh, Kellenwald, God of the Dead, but... Oh, right. I think that's one I stood on before. Yes, you did tend to do that. Yeah, I'll just take that one. Huh? Chip, are you sure? It doesn't much matter. Okay. If you want to talk smack to Nevik over here. So. Alright. I don't know yet. <laughs> As you stand upon the sigils and... Uh... They themselves light. You see the pyres around the body of Arles ignite in a strong crimson flame as you hear a bird's call uh, echo through the chambers. The pyre burns, and each of the speakers is present and prepared. Speak on behalf of the one you wish to see returned, but remember the ones who stand here to judge your words. Who wishes to speak first? I can go first. Hello, sure. Said Nevek. Your... Uh, what's the correct title for a god? How do you address a god? Your holiness? Uh... Your holiness? Your unholiness? Both are the same. Uh, well, let me get to my point. Okay. A little godling. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that we have been an entertaining part of your life. I'm pretty sure you have enjoyed that. And I'm pretty sure we can still offer some more entertainment. However, we would need Arliss for that because he's a crucial part. Because we always have been five, not four. And this whole thing doesn't work if we're more than, uh, if, if we're only four. And I make a plea to your generosity. The last time the dragons were a threat, you have fought them. The last time the dragons were a threat, there were other dragons that fought alongside you. I'm pretty sure that you must understand what kind of threat uh, they um, pose to, to the material world. And this time, uh, we are on our own. This is the biggest foe this kingdom has seen, at least in our lifetime. Um, I'm not counting you because obviously you, we couldn't stop. But with a, a mother of dragons, there's at least a chance. And we need all the po uh, fighting power that we can get. We don't have dragons. We don't. Uh, we are pretty much the strongest fighters this kingdom has. And I hope that you can see it in yourself to allow us to get Artis back. So we have a fighting chance against the dragons. Because we need his power to control his arcane skills. And without them, I don't know if we can win. And... 
I hope that there is still enough resentment for dragons in you that you would allow us this chance. Thank you for entertaining us with our pleas. For, no, other way around. How do you say it? Thank you for allowing... Uh, uh, thank you for listening to our pleas. Uh, sure. Let me phrase it that way. Your argument mm -hmm. has been heard and accepted. There lies in your heart. Dive into the pyre and let the gods be the judges of your wars. I dive into the pyre. As you do, you disappear and the siege upon which you stood nights with a smaller pyre. Who else speaks on behalf of this soul? Um, I will. And I step forward. Um, as has been stated, we really need Arliss back in order to stand a chance against the Mother of Dragons. If we succeed, I'm not sure how dragon souls work. You, the mother of the dragon soul, may return to your realm, or may come may come to your realm, and it also offers more power. If you bring Arliss back to us, there's a higher chance that you will gain a more powerful soul if we are able to defeat her. But in order to do that, we need Arliss. I hope you will listen to all of our pleas with sincere belief and on a more fruitier note we miss him he's a part of our family and we go into this as a family right and that's all i can say your argument has been heard and accepted your no lies in your heart dive into the pyre and let the gods be the judges of your worth I will walk into the pyre. Right. So you two disappear as your sigil lights up with a smaller pyre. And to those remaining, I would like to remind you that Said is not the only god you need to persuade. Who else speaks on behalf of this soul? Go ahead, Zaris. I'm still writing notes. Okay. Um, Many notes you already. It's hard to think about it on the run. Uh, what was the name of this god of the sigil I'm standing on? Kalimbor. Kalimbor. God of death. I mean, again, like, most of the guns you're standing upon, uh, they are just there as, like, overseers, the ones you need to persuade. Uh, well, is the sigil of whatever, god of death, not dead, but death, say, in this case, and whoever has the soul of Arnus, which, based on his latest belief, is still Tamora, the goddess of life. Oh, good fortune. So, I mean, imploring Kill Kill doesn't hurt, but it doesn't really help your case either. No, just checking. So, God of Good Fortune. Mm. Oops. Yeah, Arliss has definitely been good fortune for our group even at sometimes giving it up for himself as this last and most recent death of his would be shown to be fortunate for us, not so much for him. He spreads that fortune around as needed and we definitely need his Need more of him, more of his being our good luck charm going forward. 
hopefully finish this. So I'm not too sure how this all works, but I do know that in many ways Arliss is very important to have around if we are to keep the dragons from running over the over the world without being checked. Also, he is my see? main food supply. Oh, yeah, one of my staples, yes. He's the potatoes to my meat. <laughs> well, he's, he's, he's the sweet drink there, you yeah. know. But, uh, yeah. If we can get him back. Hopefully the dragons will be will not be running rampant all over the world and all over the other worshippers of every god here. Everyone will be more free to be who they wish to be and Marlis is the good luck token we need to do it. Let's meddle again. Your argument has been heard and accepted. If there are no lies in your heart, dive into the pyre and let the gods be the judges of your wars. I'll step in. Lie. Nope. Alright. Who else speaks on behalf of this soul? I do. In the upcoming days, we'll be trying to fight off the dragons of this world. I think you all have an interest in that, since the scenario of dragons winning probably means less worshippers and believers for you all, and more Believers and worshippers towards the dragons, their new overlords. See just what happened to the Great Oak, what Mother of Dragons did to him. Also, I'm standing I'm standing on Helm, right? The god yep. uh, protector? Yes. Okay. Arliss may have not worn full heavy armor but the weight of the of his responsibilities that he's taken over himself weigh much more than that though he might complain a bit he is protecting the people of aldana and even more than that of this realm as he saved people in Gaul from slavery and from death. You're distracting me with your nose. <laughs> yes. Let's take away your nose. So, please, I plead for Alice's soul back, so he may help us protect this realm and vanquish the dragons from it. Can you repeat this part about goal me one more time? Eventually, and we don't know that, uh, we bought a lot of slaves in order to free them in Aldana. Yeah. Oh, he said he was a slaver, is what you're saying. No, we freed them in Altana. And we, I mean, we had a camera, movie camera, telling us what happened, or we speculated, I guess, what happened to them once we didn't, we had to leave their care. But uh, we did free them. We did buy them. No, we, we just only bought them. We didn't free them. They were left behind in Gaul. No, they were left free in Aldana, just without, like, any oh. supplies or anything. Yeah, we brought them through. Yeah, no, they came we through. We didn't get them all through. We had like multiple hundreds we bought. 
We only took the people in the castle with. We didn't take slaves. We took like the protecting forces, I think. Well, we bought them. We can go back into <laughs> I guess then if like if that happened then I'll rephrase it to he cared a lot about No no uh, no 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 you already said them. your words. You can't take them back. Well I didn't dive into the pirate. <laughs> mm-hmm. And a uh, voice from above didn't ask you to repeat yourself. Okay. Your argument has been heard and accepted. There are no lies in your heart. Dive into the pyre and let the gods be the judges of your wars. I dive into the pyre. I wonder what the gods are thinking. I think they're having a coffee break. The gods are thinking they should just like issue a membership card or ID. We should get a one free one now since we've done more than yeah. 10 times, I think, steps. The current visitor? Pass? Yeah. Just get him a multi pass already. <clears throat> the words have been heard and judged, and thus the gods have chosen Permitted by the deal, the stented soul has the god's approval to walk this mortal realm again. In the name of the seven heavens, I declare this rite concluded. The flames dies down, and the rest of you are thrusted back into the chamber. You see the last leaks of flames upon the body of Arlis die down to no more than a candle flame. As its light slowly dims and turns green. He sits up and blinks. His left eye glowing ephemeral green. Oh, come oh on. nice, that's cool. Permi yeah, the wording was weird. Permitted you didn't by the hear deal. That. None of you have heard that. We, we didn't hear Ezra? Azariel? You are that? banished after you prove after you provide your argument. The judgment okay. of Azariel was presented to Well, technically Albert the and the rest, but none of you have heard that. Okay. 
Well, Arnis has heard it. What are you staring at? Um. Also, you guys do need to, like, I, I mean, I don't think it mattered what you said, really. But, um, still. Look, no? how about you don't die, you fucking asshole? We're sorry how about we you do your part you. in soaking up some damage, you fucking assholes? Uh, okay, how, how, how about we don't fight in fucking castles anymore where it can turn into a dragon properly? How Deal? about we don't fight in sunlight anymore where Zardos can nice. hide in a corner and uh, is as useless as, uh, I don't know. Yeah, nice. you should get some lotion ah. against that. What if we take like, I don't know. Can, can we can can we get? Would your eyes burn? Because we could get you like uh, like a, a cool uh, bee beekeeper hat that covers your body, and well, you we... could maybe fight in sunlight. This isn't Skyrim. It doesn't work. Action not Skyrim. Mm -hmm. Oblivion, I guess. I don't think we've tested it out. Oh, shit. Just all right, you two, knock it off. It's done. Yeah, it's done. I had to fucking make a deal to come back. Nice eye, by the way. Do tell. You seem and... weird. I'm. What's weird? What's Your weird eye? My eye. I mean, uh, what, how, you think I can see my own eye? I well, I maybe now different. you can. No, it doesn't feel any different. What was the deal? Well, I got some three excellent options. The one is kill something or someone he wants. The other one is just pay with my soul. And the third one was do some shit for him. And if you fault on the first or the third option, you also take your soul. So I took the do shit for him. And I'm gonna have to retrieve some fucking artifact from the tomb again. And hand it over to some person who's probably gonna be bringing world doom upon this place. But, um, Nevek fucked up a little bit, to be quite honest, you know, because he only told me to give it to them. He didn't say I had to leave them in peace afterwards, so, um... So you, you could know. technically disintegrate them and then give it to him. I could, I could give it to them and then disintegrate them afterwards, maybe. We will find out how it goes. You sly, <laughs> Arliss, you. I'm not mm. sure it's gonna work. I'm not sure I'm not gonna be punished for it, but uh, might as well try, right? Jaga, <laughs> you feel a compulsion to ask Carlos for an artifact? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be no <laughs> I would like that artifact very much. <laughs> so... Yes. Mm. Disintegrate okay. is, a, is a spell, so I get resistance. <laughs> Oh, well, okay, so you're back, so we're back on track. I don't give a shit about the rest at the moment. Good to have you back. Uh, Wanna take a nap or something? Oh god, my PC just almost died on me. Hello? Hello? Hello. Oh, no. Also, you see in the room Albert and Anna. <laughs> yeah. I turn to Albert and Anna and say, see? Death doesn't mean anything to us. Don't get cocky. Well, it's just inconvenience. At least I didn't have to fucking pay, you know? We cannot promise anything for Lord Edge, though. Yeah, I'm not resurrecting him today or tomorrow. D is there a time limit for uh, Raised Dead? Ten days. Ten days, so we Plenty might... Of days. Yeah, if we survive this, then we might try raise raise dead on him, keep his corpse. Chances are slim, but might as well. Yeah. The last couple of times uh, we tried it on people who weren't involved in this the prince group, but didn't work so well, right? We tried it on the prince, yeah. Yeah. And on um, what was uh, Galenus? Ah, Cosinius. Cosinius. He did. Yeah. did he didn't die, did he? We resurrected. Yes, we re did. um. We, we reincarnated. After we tried resurrection. Yeah. Yeah. Poor dwarf. No. 
Oh, right. I just got that out of my head. Thank you, Arliss. He, As you can see, she's blushing a little bit. He's a he's a BDD now, a big dick dwarf. <laughs> right. I oh, by the gods. <laughs> no, no. How did we call it? A tripod man. Right. A tripod, yeah. Well, there we go. Oh, I feel like shit. Okay. <clears throat> so you might want to take a rest, and you actually brought up a valid point uh, of not fighting during the day. We don't really have a timeline when we're supposed to arrive at the Mother of Dragons tomorrow, uh, well, so we might arrive during the night, right? True, yeah. but there's also the thing, we're going to fight the two bodyguards first in the forest which <clears throat> last time forest is pretty shady yeah also uh, i mean that yeah but also me fighting in darkness is gonna be shitty too but uh... um so it's... the following thing is like before sunrise and after sunset uh is fine for a vampire and you all know that even after the sunset you still have some time when it's Basically, dim light, uh, which honestly gives you more advantages and disadvantages. Um, as for the forest, depends on time of day, depends on the forest, and more importantly, even if, for example, you decide to fight in the forest and the forest turns out to be very shady and the others feeling very comfortable, if in 10 minutes after that you have to fight Mars of Dragons on the plane, well, <laughs> it doesn't help. <laughs> so, uh, Zardis, you're muted? I don't know if he's talking to us, though. No, he's talking I don't to think his... so. Best case scenario, I think we fight tomorrow at sunset. Dusk. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. But then how... The... how... Sorry, go ahead. But in the meantime, when I turn around to the king, you should. Um, I think the last one is gonna be on the run now, right? Away. Pretty sure. Or did they didn't kill catch both? it. Or did they both run? No, one, one, uh, one of the the twin. We killed the king. older yeah. brother. Escaped. I know the brother is dead. Yeah, but I don't know what happened to the other two. Captured one of the uh, small. Catch one of the smaller ones ah, and the other one left. Perfect. In that case, we should send the small one a message, right? To go tell mommy. And we should take Kreitzung back and get people into fighting shape. Whoever can be mobilized should be mobilized now and not later. We'll also likely want people from the tower on standby for tomorrow sunset or earlier if possible in Nebo yeah there's also somebody else you're forgetting Anna Kazar oh well, maybe Mr. Distracted is gonna uh, remember Mr. Shine <laughs> um we can send Mr. Shine a message and is Kieran and Zardis's wife. Yes. Well, I think he's talking to her right now, so maybe he's gonna come back with a plan I mean, in a couple I minutes. Was, uh, mostly <laughs> saying this because Albert has the means to contact the other people. We can take care of the rest, right? But um, this should work out fine, as long as Kreitzen goes on the defensive now. He's on the lookout for new fucking dragons. Um, Albert speaks up. <clears throat> all that were intended, all that were expected to help you fight have already been moved to Nebo. That device that Idilwick was constructing has been moved to Nebo for... I think they intended to put it on a boat? Oh, yeah. Nice. As for the rest... Well, frankly, Lord Edge was the only one here who was of any use, and he died protecting me. The rest of us, frankly, 
with his son dead as well, huh? Now we're close enough to be of use and there be a liability. My plan was to evacuate as many people as possible to make sure we don't get taken hostage again, scattered to the countryside, oh, while cool. me and Nana were planning to retreat. What I hear is the wizards of the tower, or some of them, intending to join your neighbor while the rest were planning to join the army on liberating their countryside from the lesser dragons. Kind of works well, yep. Okay. Actually, that was the plan we have received from. Mm -hmm. In that case, Zardas um, could you send the little one a message? You're muted if you're talking to us. Seems that he's been talking to us like for the past half hour. I don't think so. Usually when he talks to us, he has a much more disgusted face. <laughs> <laughs> it helps with the RP. In that case, I'm just gonna go lie down, I think. Like shit. And if he looks like shit and smells like shit, don't finish that. She gives him a look. It doesn't smell like she smells like somebody who has been cooked on a ceiling pan for a couple seconds. Also, as, as as I would like to remind everybody, he is bold, covered in acid scars, covered in lightning scars, and his clothes, well, he has robes on that are dirty, but that's all he has on right now. I mean, yes, that's all I ever have on. So it's like, you know, like, somebody has a busting robe on and then spent half a year on the street in that robe, that's how he looks like right now. I mean, he has prestidigitation, so... Yes, he'll have to get yeah. naked for that to work. Yeah, so be careful with what you say about uh, shit, or he might smell like it soon enough. You know? Then he's our best buddy in, in crime. Yeah. Well, I'm off. See ya. Oh, this is what I have forgotten. <laughs> I really think we should have maybe operated a bit more smarter that combat well we fought at a very unfortunate position that's what I meant with if I am to fight as a dragon I can't fight as a dragon in confined spaces yeah but and... we gotta find a way to divert the attention from people in danger even if it's me or, or Zars or anyone we need to find a way to make the enemy fire at someone else well usually being a huge creature in the in their faces does the trick but i couldn't get to their faces mm -hmm. <clears throat> didn't arliss taunt them a bit what if one of us did the same next time something like this happens i mean i could try uh, 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 smack talk sure I could say, hey, why don't you try someone your own size? <laughs> Something like that. I should probably utilize my shield a bit better. I can... I can function as some cover <clears throat> for people behind. I mean, it would be advisable for you to stand in front of Arliss. <laughs> you can definitely take a I punch from that to. Yeah, I was trying to. He rushed into the room before me, if I remember. I mean, to be on to be honest, it, it... Well, they were pretty focused on him. We should have done. Trying to, trying I mean, to he had harder. he literally had the king. True. No, uh, but when he was uh, like already down, he we like got him up. He went down. Got him up. He went down. Got him up. He went down. Like we need to probably invest a lot more power into getting him back up into working condition and not just awake. Okay. 
Um, well, I don't think this situation will be a problem anymore. Because next time I should have enough space to pull some aggro. As long as they're not teleporting, I should be fine. We could form some kind of circle around Arlis. I mean, we're all a little bit tougher than Arlis. Uh, yeah, let's stand very close together so the dragons can easily breathe on us with one breath. Okay, you might have a point there. When has a plan ever worked? It doesn't we hurt always... to talk tactics. <laughs> it never helped. <laughs> so maybe we just we just wing it as usual and we'll deal with the outcome. I mean, yes, please protect uh, pr protect him. I will try to do the same if I can. But that's not, just not always possible. So maybe... Arlis, do you have... You have teleportation thingies, right? Arlis is not there. Where is he? I already said I wandered off to go sleeping with. Oh, okay, sure. Oh, yeah, he uh, did. It's still too early for you to be able to sleep. I mean, I'm not trying to get a long rest. I'm full HP. That's not the issue. I'm oh. just... Uh, Yes, so the resurrection brings you back at full HP. So, but I am just, uh, you know, resting, getting rid of the fucking minus four. Technically. Well, Let's contact all the people we need to. Yeah. Start with Mr. Shine. I have no idea where he is and how long he would need to get to Nebo. Can Zardis, can you contact your um, special other half? Uh, I did message her a while ago, but didn't get it. Don't work for a while. Can you remind me when did you do that? Uh, before we came to, before we came here, and you know that we were back and heading, coming here to Kurt Kreutzen. Yeah, but we need to tell her to mobilize the forces. And that the final battle was planned to be a Nebu. Mm. Oh, what do you what did you ask of her? Uh, it was really just letting her know that we were back in Karaitsan, but the final battle against the Mother Dragon was planned to be soon in Nebel. Mm. Okay. Um, in that case, you'd get a message back that goes along the lines of um, that sounds fun. I have a present for you. I think you should swing by. Is there any way for us to get there now? Uh, well, you didn't know that she has a way to get to you. Or get you somewhere. Well, she's done that. Yeah, can't reply. All 
Oh, this also shows that you technically have tomorrow. She's aware, but wants me to stop by at some point. Don't think for anything else goes on. <clears throat> Do you have the energy to to go there? And come uh, back. She could take care of that if I had the energy to message them. Let her know. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's kind of urgent if she says you should come by now. But maybe she's just not aware of the full plans. And I mean, last time she out. gave you a present, you needed like six days to rest. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it's not the same kind. Yeah, maybe ask. <laughs> I don't know how, how many spells you can send today anymore. Yeah, I am completely out of everything, but first of all... Oh shit, okay. Uh... Okay. After reacting to something like the. After long, <laughs> you can tell her to can, come here. Yeah, ask if she can come come here. And the king's matter has the uh, who's we getting? Who we getting sending message for us? From the king. Um, I mean, he can. They yeah, met her. They met her. I don't know. I know the king. No, 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 no. Uh, the king has met her. Yes, but. Uh, Kalaga. Kalaga's definitely hasn't. No. Right, then I will need a couple of hours to swap some attunements to him. Did you already short rest? Yeah, already short rest. Yeah. That's already in. Unless, what are the rules for pushing extra spells? Dangerous. Uh, you basically roll for it and try and hope for the best. You can also take a taxi, you just need to wake it up. I do still have... Taxi. I have teleportation. Back and front. Oh, right, yeah. Go there and go back. Or you can take oh, yeah. your short rest and. Oh, have you already spent your arcane recovery? Yeah, yeah. before yeah, before the last battle. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Here's the one who keeps track of your shit. Melora, what do you have? Um, I do have two more spells available for the Seventh Circle. Um,. I could get us there, but if we plan on doing the feast this evening, I can't get us back. If someone can get us there, I mean, I at least have a one-way ticket to get us there. But, yeah. At the very least, I know she can... She could get me there and back if needed. Maybe all of us, I'm not sure. If... 
exactly. Can I see if Arliss has any more energy left? Yeah. Ask him. If he can get you there, that might be the easiest way. That will go find Arliss. Go find Arliss. How's it going there, Smokey? Great. The net was great until you came along, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I was, you want. I was hoping you could, uh, see if you have any energy left to teleport me. Yeah, I've got plenty, yeah. It'd be I helpful if I teleport you, but yeah. Well, at the very least, I can get back if needed. Yeah. Okay, so we're taking a trip, is what you're telling me? Yes, or at least I am. No, I can't you. just teleport you, I always have to come along. Unless you were an object, then I could send you along, but I don't think yeah. you are. Well, yeah, I need to get back to what you call Neverwinter. Anyone else coming along, or are we going now? Um, I don't know if they're staying here or not. Okay, let's go check. Head back. Anyone else want to come? Anyone else coming? Or are you guys uh, just gonna stay here? Nah, I'm good. Right. Or, or would it be easier if, um, if we start our travels from there? Because then we could all go to that place and travel from there tomorrow. Yeah, no rest there. A, seems a little risky. One additional fight potentially if we get scryed upon and found while here numbers were relatively safe, I think. I don't okay, think sure. that's going to make the big difference in there. Sure. I don't know. Then... Go Laura, there. Can you get us back. there? That's probably safer than teleportation has at risk, but coming back to the circle doesn't, so... Um... Yeah, I can, I can do transport via plants to get you there if you want. Excellent, let's do that. Let's go. So we're all going? I mean, you can just send me and Zardos if you like, I don't care. Ah, oh, come on, let's all go. So just in case shit happens, we're not separated. Okay, let's go. Alrighty. Dan, we go and find a nice tree that we usually use. Sure. Alright, yeah, no problem. Um, and you're going basically back to Neverwinter or as close as you can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, sure, you find a tree, you go through a tree, and. Uh, Exit sure, pretty far away from Neverwinter, remember? Uh, and the interesting thing is. Um, well, yeah, no way. Uh, yeah, how are you gonna travel from. Uh, from uh, the forest to the city. Is that far? What? It's like two hours. It's like two hours, right? Oh, Sixty miles. Oh. Sixty miles? <laughs> yeah. I think. So. That's close. Well, I mean, there's still so two hours have... on. But basically, well, a bit more actually, if you're going for it. Um, Melora, do you have Windwalk? 
Yes, she does, right. but then we can't use Hero's Feast tonight. That doesn't make sense. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm a huge ass, fu a huge out. fucking dragon. Just get on my back, I will fly oh, right. there. Actually, yeah, you can do that. And what's his flight speed? Eight. Eight miles per hour? hour. Yeah, so he is gonna... Oh, yes, it's, it's today, 60 miles, it's today. Uh, so you get them there by the end of the day, basically. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds okay. Let's do it. Alright, yeah. Let's hope you flying from the blind forest to the narrow winter bay. It's gonna go smoothly and I'm successfully. Sure it's a great idea, yes. Uh, are you trying in any way, shape, or form to, <clears throat> you know, go below the radar? Uh, how do I do that as a dragon? Do I have to fly low or fly high? <laughs> I mean, well, depends on the day, but because today is very sunny, flying high won't really help. So I guess fly low, but more like magic. Nah. I do still have at least a level five. I can I think that might be enough to get all of us. This ability gives you an hour. It's an hour. We ha we are flying multiple hours. Eight. You're gonna fly almost eight hours. Getting away from the forest. Yeah. I mean, at least when if we're like one hour ahead of everyone away from the forest, it's not so bad anymore, you know. Yeah, really, it's just the giant dragon that needs to be. It's it's all it's only yeah. the first hour. I'm personally really worried about yeah. when we're right at the blind. Sure. Forest. Then. Then yeah, invisibility would help. And then we can fly close to the ground afterwards, and we'll be. Maybe they'll come. Who cares? So... We'll, we're teleporting away. That's the undead's problem. All right. So we want invisibility on just Leos or all of us. I mean, if you're using a level five anyway, and you yeah. can't, you don't have any other option, then you might as well, might as well take most of us. Alrighty. So that's my last level five. So which one person is not invisible? Me. I mean, it's for her to choose, but if you're volunteering. Also, uh, actually, I think uh, we're all invisible because Sardis has to go into the bag anyway because it's fucking daylight. All right. Damn it. I want somebody to fly on an invisible dragon. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I think we're all invisible for that first hour. Right? <laughs> Get in the bag! That's a fucking gift, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> Alright, uh, sure. Uh, so, yeah, you are swiftly cast invisibility as soon as you appear next to the forest as... Uh, I hope you do climb on his back first and then cast invisibility because otherwise it's going to be quite an attraction to try and invisibly climb on the back of an invisible dragon. <laughs> yeah, no, I would have. Uh, and then you have this very uncomfortable feeling of you're holding on to something you cannot see and then you just feel yourself rising off the ground and it's a bit hard to hold to like catch your balance and it's creepier and scarier to fly when you're not in control and you don't see dragon beneath you but whatever you are currently immune to fright so off you go uh, flying into the uh, literal sunset actually because uh, the sun is going to be chasing you as you fly off into the distance and after a very uh, long uh, flight, which basically uh, like exhausts you for the day, uh, Leos, in your dragon form, you uh, arrive uh, to the bay, it was never in the bay, along with the setting sun. Um, pause. Let me quickly check, check the map. Um, Let's see. Today is 30th. 
Uh, oh. No, oh, no, the sun actually the sun actually hasn't set yet, because you're gonna be there at around nine in the evening, and the sun is like halfway uh, below the horizon, so you think you have like half an hour more of sunlight. But stupid sun, go yeah. away. Ian's back. Shut up. <laughs> but the strange thing is. And you would have noticed this on approach. You know where the city is supposed to be. You don't see the city. And this is why calling me Ron Ben. So as you land close to where it is supposed to be. Yeah. Um, where's your heart of Sardis? He's in the back. He's in the back, he can't hear us. <laughs> um, hello, um, Leos? Yes? Yes, this is the right place, right? Yes. Is this an illusion? Probably. And let's just fly on in and find out, I think. Yeah. Okay. If not, I mean, we're gonna have to wait. I don't know, I honestly don't even know what we'll do then. Maybe I'll just say fuck um, it to Zardos' plan and go back. Oh, they probably just teleport the whole city right next to Nebo. Um, that would be really um, cool. Blank I Vampire City. Hmm. Hope not. <laughs> Next Ramos. <gasps> Undead paratroopers! <laughs> Next Ramos. Just imagine like Zardus is like I can't. requesting support! And then just like an undead pod of flesh descends from the sky and smatter off the ground and skeletons just like scatter from out of it. I really hope that's what the best chance for me. <laughs> Nah, it was it's a stupid idea because I forgot we had been here during the day, so let's just fly on in. Alright. Let's find out what's going on. Okay, okay, next campaign is gonna be forty thousand years later. Undead space marines. <laughs> Zardos the the Oh from the sky, brother! Uh, Zardos the god emperor upon his golden throne. <laughs> Well, the good thing about undead space marines is that you don't need to worry about air. This is true. Alright. So, as uh, you slowly like start flying in the direction of where the city is supposed to be, uh, at some point, Zardos, as you come closer, your, your true sight? You do have true sight, right? I... But you don't? Have blind sight. Yeah. Um, weird. I was sure. Oh, are you too weak to have true sight? I mean, he's an ancient one, technically by the book. I think. Oh, I have blind sight. Dragons they don't, don't have, have true sight. sight? Oh wait, the yeah, dragons don't have the true shirts. True sight. Sure, they got true. Sight. Ancient. Uh, yeah, matter. it's blind sight. All right. Yeah. yeah well, anyways, uh, even with your blind sight, because well. Looks like that. Uh, yeah. So um, you like sense you approaching a wall, basically, and you get some height. And as your senses tell you that you have crossed the wall, is as if you all have passed through an invisible barrier, and the city reveals itself in front of you. You see, Neverwinter changed in the several months you have been gone. The wall that you have just passed over has been completely restored and reinforced with dark towers. 
uh, placed ever so often. The ruins of the residential districts have been almost completely cleaned up, uh, with some houses that weren't quite as damaged seemingly restored. The giant fissure that has previously been splitting the city in two has been covered, and the dark castle on the hill seems even dark and broodier than it was before. You see activities in the streets, as small figures march about, and as you fly closer to the castle, you see new construction. What would look like stables and barracks and armories scattered all around, small figures marching among them, clutter of bone and metal heard as you do a low fly by over the city. Where would you like to land? Close to the castle? Huh? Um, if there's a courtyard, then yeah. I would probably take that. Uh, about halfway through the city, from it is a fairly large city, uh, you see a dark cloud uh, detach itself from the castle and start approaching you. As it comes closer, you see it to be a cloud of rather Oh, well, not a cloud, but more like a flock of rather large bats who flock around you for a while. Then, seemingly satisfied with who you are, uh, just escort you for the remaining duration as you fly towards the castle. And as you... kind of like cramp yourself into the courtyard of the castle, which is just the bats, disappear into the windows and perches among the castle and you see that there are a lot of those bats perched everywhere and just watching you with their tiny beady eyes uh, but yeah you do land it is very cramped the bat as the castle was not uh, built for uh, such large dragons uh, but you have made it I will swap the cloud out of the bag, you know. Mm -hmm. Welcome uh, home. Come out and reform. Alright, okay. Do that. Oh, nice. Made it. Good. Have fun. And let me know when you're done. Yeah, yeah. You can go ahead and find a, uh, find a room somewhere and mm -hmm. relax. Can fly down a undead zombie or whoever to escort Arliss to a room. I'm just gonna sleep on the carpet right here. Nope. No, are you? That um, burrito up in your flying carpet. What is your just made? Flying burrito. So I'll walk in. Um, yeah, as you walk into the castle, uh, very quickly a single bat uh, perches itself upon your shoulder and uh, like kind of nuzzles itself to you and uh, as it sticks its uh, muzzle into your ear, you hear the voice of Aliana uh, directing you uh, towards her as you navigate the uh, hallways of the castle. Uh, you find her in a room uh, with the body of your brother still standing behind her shoulders running as a bodyguard and several of those ancient, creaky necromancers hovering around her, showing her various papers and scrolls as she seems uh, busy managing whatever is currently happening outside of the castle. Uh, seeing you enter, she dismisses uh, the necromancers and 
stands up to uh, greet and embrace you. Uh, welcome home, honey. It's good to see that you yeah. have finally returned from your vacation. We've been busy. Yeah, I hope, so. hope everything's been well while I've been gone. Yes, yes, yes. We've been recovering. I uh, built a couple of things. Uh, dug up a couple of things that. That's fresh. A battlefield to the south was quite a source of resources. Thank you very much for authorizing its exploitation. It's not quite what your browser was building up, but it is a beginning. As long as you've made use of it. Uh, how was it on your side? How was your trip to? Oh, no, no, we took out a few dragons here and there, captured a couple, killed a few, and generally looking to hopefully take care of the mother sometime soon. But for the time being, Kurt's on his. Still in one piece. Well, a couple months ago you told me that you'd like us to be a part of the deliberation. I've raised an army for this. So, when do I ride out? Uh, well, as I mentioned, the, we're hoping to have the final battle with the mother in Nebu. Right. Let's see if I can liberate the countryside, carve out this part of the country for us to claim later. By permission of the king, of course, I'm sure we'll be awarded quite a suitable piece of land for our contribution to the liberation and security of Aldana. That would be nice. Um, yeah, and that did, did save the king's life as well. Oh, it is? That's, that's, that's just wonderful. Uh, do you find a moment to raise this matter with him? What was done and done? Um, uh, yes, speaking of things, I did have a present for you. Uh, well, for us, technically, I've got us uh, some matching steeds. Really? Yes. Um, well, let's go for a walk. They are a little bit too big for... Uh, castle. I'm sure. And just out of character, the necromancers that left, they were they alive or dead? The necromancers in the room are alive, yes. They have blood. They do have blood. I mean, you're welcome to ask her if she... Oh, yeah, that's what I was about to say. If, if I could get a little donation from your necro from the necromancers here, that would be helpful at the moment. <laughs> oh, darling, I'm sure you'll find their old blood as weak as it is disgusting. Ah, that's unfortunate. We need stronger people around here. I did tell you that we should search for a master necromancer. After all, I have only myself to lead an army, and that will quite limit the scope of what I can achieve. Was that what we were doing, or were we holding off on that because we didn't want to... weren't sure about controlling them? I don't know what you plan to do. So I know we, talk, I know we talked about it before, I don't remember if we... Yeah, well, different, you definitely to... said that kids is a little bit too soon. Oh, that... <clears throat> yeah. I'm sorry to say, but Master Necromancers don't grow on trees. Alright, well, just checking. So horses. It's horses, right? Yes, steeds. Steeds. Um, I think it will be faster if you fly with me. And you see her pop into a bat form. I will do the same. Alright. So, she again leads you uh, kind of through the castle and to the nearest window as she get you out of it and uh, down, down, down the castle wall and to what could be considered the cliff side of the city as you see a couple caves have been carved into the surface of the cliff 
and she leads you into one of those caves uh, and un, 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 un shape changes, our no shape change again uh, back into humanoid form as uh, she leads you deeper into the cave, both of you obviously and superior night vision, you do not require any disgusting light to illuminate your path. The cave, while still relatively damp, is uh, sizable enough to walk around comfortably, and is not that deep as reaching about 40-50 um, feet into it, uh, you see two dark shadows coiled deep in the cave. As Leanna makes a gesture, the two uh, shadows, uh, they by command, uncoil, revealing the form of two small dragons. Obviously dead, their scales, though still greenish in color, have become grayer and duller and their eyes are uh, white with well, dead blind eyes as they both follow the movements of Aliana. Interesting. Yes, the, I did hear that a couple of disappeared. I had a feeling you had something to do with it. Oh, they have stumbled by. I figured out I had time. So... You did give me the chalice, and this was within my capabilities. I have raised them, and I figured out what better gift than a matching steeds for both of us. Oh, that's sweet. Yes. Oh, be careful, though, darling. I am their master, so this means they have no mind of their own. If you are on top of one of them, they will follow your orders and will be your controlled steed. But if you are not there to give orders, they will do literally nothing. So if you were to fall off of their back, well, they will not swoop down to save you, but rather fly dumbly in the air. On the other hand, it does mean that I am the one dedicating my concentration and magic to uphold them, so... They should not disintegrate if you were to lose concentration. This is quite the gift. I have to think of something to get you in return for this. I hope by now you know my preferences. I'll think of something nice. Well, I imagine your friends are quite in a rush, so unless you are willing to spend the night, which you are more than welcome to, I believe we might be resting here before we head on. I'm not sure. Double check. That would it. be wonderful. How about I... Uh, I still have a couple things to do for tonight. So, uh, catch me in my office later. And if you're staying, perhaps we can... Um, how would I call it? Re... Catch up? Of course. I'm definitely looking forward to that. And I believe we will just turn back into bats and fly back. Uh -huh. Sure. So we'll find the rest of the group. Has the rest of the group decided to go somewhere or have you been just roaming around courtyard i would just wait i'm the car today so i'm just <laughs> parked you're not the <laughs> car you're the you're the designated driver <laughs> true i'm both yeah um, the designated we, car 
we didn't want to stay here tonight, right? We wanted to uh, uh, rest in Kreuzung, if I remember correctly. Mm. It's essentially, it, it, it's prob it, probably... Probably doesn't make a difference, huh? Yeah, because, because we we are definitely going to travel... I mean, this is the closest place to Blind Forest. <laughs> this is 110 miles, let's say, and the other one is 130, so technically... It's a bit closer, I guess? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter, we can go back or stay. Um... Let's stay. Sure. Yeah, we'll fly back in and see land on Arliss's head. In bad form. I would like to smack the bat away from my face. I miss horribly. And after messing around for a second, I'll land and change back. So I did find out what uh, what happened with those dragons that went missing. Mm hmm. Yep, they're here. Ah, captured? Ah, uh, turned. Oh, damn. Oh, that's nice. That's good. So, yeah, we uh, have... I'm sure mommy is gonna love seeing that. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Yeah. yeah. We probably you probably shouldn't bring that to the first meeting. Yeah, maybe not. No. It's probably. <clears throat> uh, I think yes. That, I think that's right up there with wearing that armor. I'm not sure which would be worse. Yeah, I think. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Um, or how about I ride ride one of those into battle while wearing the armor, and just take all the attention. Hey, mother of dragons! How dare you capture this kingdom? We're the heroes. We're gonna liberate it. Just let By me. The way, we're just let me put on the your yeah. <laughs> um. Well. I'm pretty sure if we come in there saying, hey, uh, not only am I wearing one of your children as my skin, I am riding one. Fuck you. And we have captured two of them. Three. So super fuck you. Three. Captured three, killed two, I believe. Yeah. By the way, now we're going to make those three of your children attack your other children. Yeah, we're just piling this shit on. I'm like, yes. There will be no negotiations whatsoever and no time delay. We need to to we stall need, her and need. not to upset her. That is what Khazar wanted, not to provoke her. Okay. Um, well, so I think don't. I think let's uh, try and make this a uh, fake negotiation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah don't need that. that we don't wear the armor. We don't ride in the dead kids. Yep. <laughs> that sounds so terrible. Again. It does so fucking We are terrible. all terrible. This conversation I, makes me very uncomfortable. I don't think that we're that Even horrible. <laughs> yes. We're walking around with skeletons. Are we the baddies? <laughs> you you yes. know what? The, the, the only thing that... that <clears throat> fills me with just a touch of regret is that that we didn't get to do this to Cerulius. Honestly, I don't feel particular much towards the Mother of Dragons. But with Cerulius, I would have loved to do that. Have him fight his own children while I wear his children's skin. Hmm. Okay. Now yeah, that you said it, um... <laughs> Yes, I agree. <laughs> yeah. You know that I'm sure oh, well. those fucking Cyclops babies would have provided plenty of meat. Question. Okay. What, 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 what happened to Cerulius's soul, actually? Does it linger with Nevek now? 
Who knows? Hmm. Maybe in another lifetime I will get to Getting him live my dreams. Him. <laughs> Man, you could always check if we needed to. I'm pretty sure that uh, that uh, Nivek would let me d uh, uh, allow me to do that. Just to the path to Nivek is paved with good intentions, I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure these are good intentions. They're just feel good intentions. They're pretty different, I think. Damn, that's a nice fantasy. <laughs> good intention. Yes, it's disgusting. Good. <laughs> uh, so let's. Uh, what time of day is it? Approximately. Uh, it's more than nine in the evening. It's like nine. I, I would like to like uh, just directly before midnight uh, we would sh we should or like before we go to bed and preferably like we should go to bed late because we're going to be waking up late and so on and so forth. Um, we should use Heroes Feast, you yeah. know, midnight snack style. Yeah. Are we going to sleep at midnight? I don't know, but uh, late, so the effect will, um, will cover us tomorrow evening and night if the fight happens to draw out for some weird reason, you know? Yeah, okay. Mama starts running, I don't want to lose protection. Uh, also, someone else is up to for dying tomorrow, you know? Not my turn. Oh. Are we actually going to use the children to fight against the two bodyguards? It would make sense, wouldn't it? It would be almost useless. Mm. The children were okay, captured at one hit point. What? The children uh, were captured uh, no. at basically zero uh, hit points. Uh, did you mean these ones? Did you mean the ones in the bottle? Yeah. Uh, no, they are useless. Okay. I mean, well, it's going to take cost an action to let them free, right? Well, they could provide cover. Sure. I mean, yeah, maybe if we let one free for demonstration during the negotiations and so on, then maybe we uh, can have them for, uh, you know, just... Mm, okay, sure. But I sure. think otherwise it's a bad trade for an action. I don't know. Oh, yeah, if it's an action, yeah, fuck it. I mean, we could get all three out in advance. And we don't. I mean, we can just kill them in front of them? I don't know. Okay, never mind. <laughs> That's the reason it's possible. It's so gonna turn against yeah, us, they're gonna turn out. and attack us somehow. Yeah, let's. I'm... Or we go ahead and turn all of them, and then we all have dragon mounts. You're still bargaining chips, or you're already dead. No I don't know. I think I prefer Intarni and uh, Nova. Was her name? What? Maybe I don't remember. It's been a while since. As mount. Huh? Yeah. I said I just prefer as a mount Intarni. That's all. Uh, as a mount. Okay, sorry. I mean, mm -hmm. okay, so let's wait till a bit later, midnight snack, and then sleep. Like, it's gonna be your last night. Sure. But I'm lucky it's nine. <laughs> Alright. So, um... Yeah. Uh, you... Separate into the rooms in the castle and... Well, one good thing is after you've been missing for three uh, months or more, the castle definitely has been cleaned up. There's no more dust anymore anywhere. It's been... It's still not as lavishly furnished as a castle should be, but at the very least, it's clean. It's furnished. 
and uh, when Usardas uh, find Aliana in her office and retreat to your uh, bedroom, that one is very well uh, furnished with a giant double coffin uh, with like separate foldable covers uh, on the postament in the center of the room. Uh, there's a nice bottle of uh, blood on one shelf, uh, fresh blood, freshly juiced. There's a nice bar. Alan has certainly prepared it and seemingly knowing your tastes, uh, the room does seem to contain certain like articles that you would enjoy to I don't know, drink or eat during the conversation and I assume if you do spend some time with her just talking about what has happened during the day and previous day, uh, you do notice as you drink the like bottles she offers that while their taste would be considered unusual for a human to an undead that you are uh, with your dulled senses they do offer that tinge of pleasure and excitement that drinks used to back when you were alive it doesn't compare to blood but as a you know no nicotine cigarette uh, substitute. This is quite a pleasant a mini gift she has prepared for you as well. Uh, do you share your plan with her? Like the full plan? Yeah. Alright. Um, she listens. Intently and uh, I guess then she's gonna tell you that with what she has raised. Aside from you taking one of those dead dragons, there's really not much she could give you. The troops would be too low quality and are grounded completely. Uh, although she wished to create some flying monsters, she didn't have the time or the equipment to produce them. Uh, and well, you darling yourself can summon enough bats that you don't need mine. However, she does ask you if you're sure so if you're sure you're good. If you would like her to stick to the original plan and lead the army to liberate the countryside from lesser dragons, or if you would like her personally to join you in battle. When it comes to the mother dragon having you around. Definitely make things a little better for for me and our side. We can take care of her. The lesser dragons aren't as much of a concern. And we're a little a little leery of bringing your gifts into that battle. Requiring her full attention. At the very least, having you there would be helpful. At the very least, there will be somebody to get you out if we end up in a little bit too much trouble. There's also that, yes. Just make sure you take care of yourself and stay safe. Don't worry about me. And remember, we do have one advantage over even the dragons. They are mortal. We are not. Yeah, still one of those things I'm getting used to. Give it time. Been collecting as much blood as I can, but still gonna take a little more time. Do not. I understand your 
urge and the urges. But do be careful. Too much blood for a young body like yours can cause more harm than good. Good to know. Did not think about that, but yeah, it's definitely good to know. Anything else I should know before going further? Speaking of the necromancers, I wonder what we should do about that cult of the one I got. All oh, right, Nebek. I wouldn't say we should. Ouch. Then, that seems a bit beyond our means, presently. Well, I did see a message in his book saying just to tell you hi. Oh, really? Yes. Well, I'm just saying, they do seem to be... Albeit competing for the resources, so to speak, as ever is, as ever it is, they're more aligned with our habits than most living ones are. True. Temporary alliance could be considered, if only to ensure we're not. Put at heads. I will hand her the book and say if you'd like to take a look through. He does seem to, he does often reply to messages written in it. I am glad you had a pen body for those months you were gone. Well, I don't talk to him often, but... At least learning from some of the other spells he has in there. Well, unless you think that going through the book tonight might help me prepare for tomorrow. I think this is... Uh long-term reading project. Oh, as much as I appreciate a fellow minded creature, I don't believe I'm quite in the mood for making any deals with him quite yet. Not while we're in a bit of a better position. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, I'm sure he's nice to have around for certain situations, but Deals, not so much as yet. Mm -hmm. Your friend, though... So I agree with you there. Oh, yes. It seems he did make a deal with Nevek. Yes. It seems... Got an eye out for him. I see what you did there. <laughs> well... It was a little unexpected of our list, but... Yeah. No, really? I always thought he had a little bit of darkness in him. Really, you should talk yeah, to him. True. Maybe by the end of the soul, we could figure out a way to... You know, buy out his contract. I'm sure he'd be more interested in us having his contract than the deck. So, yeah. As far as looking for powerful 
mages to join our cause. He is close to being perfect. The other one, though, he seems to have a different patron. Yeah, it's. I can taste it on that one. It's... Yeah. We'll have to deal with that eventually. I'm not sure Leos will be okay. Hmm. I'm not sure he got the choice. Or reward in that matter. No, nah, the Raven Queen will push him to do what she wants eventually. Well, you know them better, so long as you make sure they stay off our backs, at least. For as long as it takes us to prepare, then it is good by me. They are friends and good to have around. Whenever when all this is over, I suspect we will go our own ways and maybe have a couple of reunions every now and then. Well, you know the Those same. Keep your friends close and keep your enemies closer. Of course. This is what Father enjoyed doing. Hmm. Not so much your enemies you have to watch out. You have to watch out for your enemies as much as your friends. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll get to that eventually. I'm certain we will. Um, so I imagine uh, the rest of you uh, take your long rest after we've taken heroes. Right. Feast. Do you have energy for the heroes feast? Yes, sir. Do you have a second bowl for the Hero's Fist? Yep. Damn it. Do you have cutlery to eat the Hero's uh -huh. Fist? Do you have the stomach for the Ten. Hero's Fist? I'm deleting our... This is our last charge. I'm deleting it now. All right. Do you have the lettuce to make the salad for the Hero's Fist? <laughs> <laughs> no, shit. Oh. All right. So, yeah, sure. You have your dinner, then you go to sleep. Um, and, uh, actually, I guess at this point, let's, oh, yes, what? Yeah. oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Uh, do you remember how much, uh, maximum hit points you're supposed to have? Or would you like me to remind you? I know, 150. Yeah, I got mine written down. I, um, at, mine should be 297 in dragon form. So now it's three hundred and one. Oh dear. Hey. It's nice to have three hundred hit points. I'm sure it is. Alright, so in that case, uh, as you finish your uh, long rest, uh, let's take a break here and reconvene in the morning. Okay. Yes. A few.
Alright. Uh back as if it is. Alright. Good. Good enough. Good. So you've taken your long rest after you have eaten your hero's feast. That's all you've done yesterday. Um so you have awoken, refreshed, uh, refreshing your powers after a really, really hard battles the day previously. You are this especially definitely needed that rest and would like some more. But time doesn't wait. So your spell slots, abilities, and hit points recharged. You are still guests of the Neverwinter. And you have quite a bit of time to plan your well meeting with the mother, your communication with other allies, as well as figuring out whichever other allies you might want to invite. Last chance to send messages. It's now you can. And you certainly do have the advantage of, of having Galiana with you. Although her contact book is definitely not as large as yours will be. It's more of an introvert vampire. Do we have any messages to send? Did we get the uh, King's Mage to send a message to the wizards? Uh, you didn't, okay. because yeah, the king has already talked to you about that the mages are supposed to be either preparing to like, clean the countryside or join the neighbor, and you didn't elaborate upon that? We didn't uh, send a message to the dragon that fled. You definitely didn't do that. Yeah. <clears throat> you assume by now the dragon has long since reached its mother, for it should be capable to do that, since Crimson is not much further from the Blind Forest than your trip from the Blind Forest to Neverwinter was. And the dragon had a bit of a head start. Then let's send her a message and say, Hey, go to your mommy and tell her that we have three hostages and we're willing to negotiate. And we'll come to her lair this uh, tonight. Yeah, Something we'll like come that. To here tonight. That sounds really good. Yeah. Okay. I will send that message to the dragon that ran. Asian. You just say tonight. Did we have a specific time or no? We, we could say minute. at dusk. Around dusk. Oh yeah, that's I mean sure. Just after sunset. No, just say dusk. Dusk is generic enough, but specific mm -hmm. enough, I think. No. Right. Yeah. I should also Eliana should let Lady Kazar know about the time frame too. Make sure Maybe she... send Lady Kazar a message uh, beforehand, just so she can possibly stop accept you. the time frame or stop us if uh, we're taking too long. Yeah. Because there might be one point if. Assuming, well, I don't know how fast the mother is, but assuming that if we arrive there at dusk and all the trouble starts, she will fly to Nebo. Some hours may pass, and I don't know if she will arrive then in the middle of the night, which could make things a lot dif more difficult for everyone. That is not us. Yep, that is very possible. So, asking Lady Khazar first seems like a good idea, yes. Okay. Switch to that first then. 
Yeah. Just because first, then with her okay, then message. Yeah, uh, Eliana is doing my Please concise what you are sending to Lady Kazara in that case. Telling the dragon, but telling other dragons we're negotiating at dusk, I believe. Yeah. Does that work for you? Please call yeah. us back. Yeah. Okay. Assuming that she maybe has a flying speed of, let's say, 100 fe uh, fe uh, feet at least, it may <laughs> still well take her. Um, that's 200 miles approximately. So Even that's... let's say she has 200, so that's way yeah. over the top, right? But let's say she has it. Yeah. 200 miles. That's, that's 10 still hours. Hard. Still 10 hour travel, you know? Unless she has teleportation, a means of teleportation. But then it doesn't matter anyway. Mm -hmm. Then it's I... still dusk and, um, yeah. It should be fine. She tries teleporting, we can try counter spell. <laughs> so maybe then she'll no. But uh and then she'll stay behind and kill you. Mm -hmm. No, then she'll uh, still fly off, right? She needs to in order to get otherwise the ritual goes through and then she gets fucked over hard. Alright, so you send that message to Lady Kazar. Uh She responds I suppose we have little choice considering the nature of your allies. Mind though the night will be dark. Which may be both an advantage and a hindrance. That's what we get for laying in bed with vampires, right? This is the punishment we take. Uh, I guess like Milora, you would easily know that on that day, uh, the moon will be a waxing crescent. So we might not have too much light. <sighs> well, I don't mind for <coughs> 120 feet, then it becomes a problem. Basically. Yeah, which basically means it's going to be a problem. Likely. Yeah. Unless we're literally fighting on the back of her. Yeah. I mean, but, I mean, that's just... Like, the alternative is fighting with Salad Zardos in daylight. And after the last couple of fights with Zardos in daylight, I'd prefer not fighting at all. And like, if you wanted daylight. to wait for a large enough moon to provide, like, let's say, dim light throughout the whole plane, you'll need to wait at least four more days. Five. We don't have four more days. Because no. full moon is June 9th. And, like, about... Like five days before there's a moon enough. Right. A lot of light. I'm sure we can talk the mother into holding off for a few days. <laughs> but as you've said, maybe she can teleport. Maybe her speed is 2,000 feet per round. I don't know. Hopefully not. No. <sighs> oh, 
also let's do this part here now and it's gonna be annoying but we should still do it um and i'll like open up the bag of holding so potions of flying and i'll like uh oh, right. hand one over to zardos and i'll hand one over to trego i think this is best right, on the two of you who actually need to be up close Potion of speed. Either one of you works fine. You decide between yourselves. Could you give that to me? Sure. I don't care. Maybe it works on you too. Good for one minute. The thing is, can you drink this in dragon form? Unlikely. I can drink it in humanoid form and then use my action to transform? Yes, it lasts one minute. But you can do that if you want. Sure. The potion of speed is essentially haste, right? Yeah, it's haste. It is really dope. Uh, and it would re it'd be really good on a fucking dragon to have an extra attack. Yeah. Or I movement. Think, or movement. They're both really good. I agree. I'm fine with that. I'm just going to write this in Discord too, so we have it written yeah. down here. Then potions of heroism. I am taking... We have three of them. I am taking one for sure. Who else wants one? What's that one do again? Um, plus 1d4 uh, to all saves and attacks, and you get some extra temp hit points, I think. Potion of heroism. Um, Ten temp hit points for one hour, and you are under the effect of the blessed spell. No concentration required. So yes, 1d4 to all attacks and saves. And this will at least somewhat balance out my minus three that I have. Um, I would recommend putting this on people who use attack rolls as well as saves. I would li 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 like to see this on Zardos personally. So Zardos and Trego, you think? Or Zardos and Theos? For the saves, personally, I'd put it on Leos, yeah. I'd put, say, Sardos and Leos on top. Um, then, up next, Oil of Sharpness. We are putting that on top of um, Thirst. It's a, it gives a plus three, so, it's, so Thirst stays a plus three, even if charges get used, and I don't think we have a better use for it. No one... You can really benefit from a plus three to a weapon otherwise, right? Uh, if so. I use everything and Sun Warrior goes dormant for a week, that could help. Oh. Use that too. Um, in that case, actually, I prefer Trigo because you have Shadow Blade. Um, okay, up next. Everyone write down one potion of superior healing and one potion of supreme healing potion of stone giant strength this is either zardos or trego who has I think if you have hero if you have heroism, I'd put this on. Yeah, that trigger would be. Wait, I'm still writing potion of superior healing, and then. I am gonna. I'll have it all down, and you can look later. Um, okay. Then, everyone should also take one antitoxin. Antitoxin gets rid of any poisons that are in your system and gives resistance to poison. This is just a backup if we get this uh, hero's feast dispelled, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, you can save that for another one if another person needs another charge. Oh yeah, it makes sense. You don't need it. But um, I'll just take two and the rest takes... Um, I'll just leave one in the bag and keep one on me. Not Melora. Um, Elixir of Health is basically lesser restoration. I don't think that'll come in super critically, but we're also just going to put one of each uh, on every one of us. Doesn't matter. 
Elixir of health, one each. Then there is a potion of invulnerability. I am taking this, I think. Yes. <laughs> How <clears throat> dare you? I dare it. It is nice to have 300 hit points, isn't it? Huh? It's nice to have 300 hit points, no? Um, it is. How long does it last? A minute? <laughs> Invuln is a minute, yeah. And we have... Poison resistance we probably don't need after we have the anti <coughs> Um Scroll of Glibness doesn't really do anything. Actually, you should probably use... No, your dragon you can't. Never mind. Um, and then there is leftover... Potion of Growth, too. I think we will be giving these to... Do we want fucking Giganto Dragon? <laughs> or do we want um, Zardos and Drago in bigger sizes with an additional D4 on the attack? <sighs> Give it to, the, to them, because I will be only be able to chuck one potion, because then I will transform. Mm -hmm. Or someone hangs around my mouth and just Peace thrust me all that shit. Here. Okay, now that makes sense. In that case, Potion of Growth. Th these will last 1d4 hours, so this is also something we can either... For now, for Potion Strategy, I feel like we can either... I would probably save most of it, apart from healing, for after the two dragons, if we can. Unless things get hairy. And mm -hmm. um, done for the record. Mm. Like I'm wearing these like outside. I'm not. I don't have. Do not have them in the bag of holding where they would need to be like uh, gotten for an action. They are outside. Uh, do, I got does them as, this... a, as a potion fanny pack. I mean, yes. if any of you want to use any potions in combat, you need to have them on your, you know, in the pocket somewhere. Equipped. Yeah, that's what what I mean. That's what <laughs> I'm go where I'm going to be carrying these. And you think you're living in a bag of holding? Um, there are still quite a few, like, um, potions, like water breathing, cold resistance, lightning resistance, one poison resistance. There are a lot of healing potions that'll stay in there, like greater healing and potion of healing. Which, honestly, like, they don't do anything in a fight anyway, right? If you feed, use it um, for the most part. If you go down immediately again after a heal, they are not... <laughs> Don't f don't forget to chuck bonus uh, um, healing potions as a bonus action. Okay. Um. So, yeah. That's about it there. Uh, potion of heroism. Potion of heroism. Because I, I don't know. Um, but um, it feels risky to take them before the fight with the two brothers in case um, Mama doesn't teleport and has to fly there for like at least um, a couple of hours. Can someone then take my potions just for the first fight because I will not be able to carry them with me? Because I will immediately turn into a dragon once we start fighting. And then hand them to me later. Okay, um... Put them in the bag. Don't you want to have them on you anyway? Because you can... If worst comes to worst, you can chuck one and transform. Or they will at least be like safely transformed in your body. And it wouldn't matter too much. Uh, okay. Question for the DM. <laughs> mm. If I carry them uh, on my humanoid form while shape change from the dragon form. Then I turn into a dragon, mm -hmm. and then someone slaps me out of the dragon form. What happens to the potions? <laughs> While you're still concentrating? <laughs> you mean no, if you transform I'm, while you're still concentrating? Or what are you talking about? I'm, I'm not uh, uh, transforming. So uh, as a uh, 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 concentrating, uh, as a dragon, I have this shape change yeah. uh, ability. Uh, change shape ability. All right. Um, so, any equipment is where uh, it, it is wearing or carrying is absorbed or borne by the new form. So, all right. So, uh, basically, what happens okay. if I, so if yeah. you turn from a dragon into human and you put on a backpack and then you as a human are killed, then you revert into a dragon, 
and the straps of the backpack break and it falls off. Okay, so if I have as well as in my humanoid form from it, chain yeah. shape, I put two potions in my uh, pockets, yeah. and then I transform into a dragon, and I will get slapped out of my dragon form. Uh, dragon form. If, oh, hey, if you, no, 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 no. Right now, you are a permanent dragon. You are a dragon. If you are killed in your dragon form, you're dead. You're dead, dead. True polymorph. Right? I'm pretty sure you're dead if you're a permanent dragon. I mean, let me read, but... Uh... By this definition of the... It reverts as a result of dropping to zero hit points. Or dying. So basically, when you drop to zero hit points as a dragon, you are... Back to Leo's form. Uh, right? Yeah, that's also how we handled it in, in previous combats. Oh, uh, no, no, so it finds dice. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh fuck. Oh, this is hard. Uh um second. That crap. The... Wait, so you, as a shape change human, put potions into your pocket, turned into yes. dragons, they melded into you, and then from a dragon you're slapped into Leos. What happens to those potions? Yeah, exactly. That's a... <laughs> okay. Question. I'm gonna say since it says a spell is dispelled, then you stop being a dragon, and everything that melded into you pops out and falls around you. Okay. Okay. Basically, means this is the fastest way to change your clothes. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Because he's then wearing different clothes than. Leo's work, so yeah. Okay. It's like Leo's in a bar because, trying yeah, to like, with a woman. And, this is a fun thing. And she's like, how dare you? Yeah, this is a fun like, thing. Whenever like whenever you turned into a dragon, you basically have to like then turn into human behind the bushes because you're naked. Put on new clothes, and then you can go dragon human, dragon human, dragon human. <laughs> yeah, here, here's the thing though. Uh, it the, the, the ability says any equipment it is wearing or carrying is absorbed or born by the yeah. new form. So technically, I could shape change into a clothed being. Okay. It, that's at least how I read it. That makes sense. No, 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 no. That's, Normal Leos and that's for when human Leos dragon clothed, turns yeah. into dragon Leos. Yes. But when you true polymorph Leos into dragon, you can't wear your equipment. It always melts. So from dressed Leos, you go into naked dragon, who then has no equipment. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Who then turns into naked human, puts on whatever equipment they want, and can turn into dragon, naked dragon, or back into dressed human, or back into naked dragon, or back into dressed human. Who then gets killed and turns into dressed in other clothes Leos. Okay. You no, know, uh, it's like, hey girl, wanna see a trick? <laughs> you just have to kill me. <laughs> uh, okay. So the potions would drop to the ground, which can be fortunate or unfortunate, depending on what's going on in the environment. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, I'm taking them. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, I'm taking. I like. I just for the first fight. Yeah, just for the first fight. Yeah. yeah. For the second fight, I can can take a potion and hold the other one in my hand and then claw and just be careful that you're I... gonna have a dragon for the second fight. Uh, yeah, that's also the, the mm -hmm. question. If I even survive the dragon form in the first fight. We'll find. Oh, assuming that you survive, yeah, period. Not. The the last one has already been pretty pretty close. I came down to like below 100 hit points, I think. Oh. Yeah. Oh, these two ones are gonna fuck us up, really. Well, you could give him the portion of vulnerability. That's never, he's never least, gonna die. At least action economy will not be as bad as last time. No, take your death. Uh, I'll take. I'll cast death ward probably on your dragon form and on uh, Arlers for sure. Uh, this ward yeah, lasts uh, for yeah, eight but... hours, so don't hurry. Yeah, yeah, not now. I know. Because you are, you, like, basically right now, you're like eight in the morning. And if you're intending to fight at basically 10 in the evening, because that's when sunset is gonna be. No, wait. I oh. guess. Um, say. Uh, On the positive side, if it's that late. And she takes like 10 hours to get to Nebo. If we're very lucky and she doesn't and have we'll teleportation, get a long rest. Then, it'll, then it'll be real. Uh, then we'll have to fight in sunlight again. <laughs> and we might take a, uh, we might be able to take a long rest if we transport via plants to Nebo. Mm -hmm. Or teleport, yeah. Or teleport, even, yeah. yeah. Um... That's super unlikely. Oh, that's not. I wish for it. But it's super likely. Yeah, sure, well, we will see like... how things will turn out. I mean, you can wish for it. it. Wish helps us as long as we are trying to reduce the movement speed to ten feet with the wish spell. <laughs> totally worth it, honestly. Like, oh. honestly, that might be a really good wish in combat. Probably, yeah. Not sure it's gonna work, but it sounds really fucking good. Best use of a fucking wish spell. Reduce your movement speed to 10 feet. <laughs> Not zero, you can still move, it's okay. You're still free to I... move. We, do, we, we allow you to crawl away from your impending doom. What the fuck? <laughs> Permanently crippled. 10 feet move. <laughs> Melora's strength immediately drops to like three in that case, I think. Yeah, sunset it is about 940. So yeah, after 940 you're gonna be in Darkness? Well not in darkness, in uh, dim light. So no sun, no sun basically. Sunset is nine forty. Oh that's uh, oh okay. And after that, you're gonna have about until like until about midnight when you're gonna be basically like going through dusk, like sort of twilight into dusk, and after midnight, it's gonna become like dark, dark. Okay, so we have plenty of time because there are two options, right? Either she's super fast or she's uh. Tele uh, either she's teleporting or it's gonna yeah, take her Yeah, a while. I mean, yeah, it depends on the, so. on the speed. Either she's gonna appear there like, you know, by 10 or she's gonna come appear there like at 5 in the morning. Yeah. Ooh, question though. Now, what if. <laughs> if because she's so fucking huge, she actually has the, the, the flight speed of a fucking plane? Well. <laughs> I mean, then it's pre then it's pretty much the same situation. I like, wish it worked like me. this, but it doesn't quite work like this. Also, <laughs> like, uh, assume like maybe she has wind walk. It's still thirty miles per hour, two hundred yeah. miles. It's still gonna take her like six hours. Yeah, but if she has a flying speed of two thousand feet, look, 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 look. A hawk has she a flying speed of sixty much. feet. A rock has a flying speed of one hundred twenty feet. The size difference is more than twice. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so we can assume that her movement speed is probably below also 300 she, feet. Also, she's a giant dragon. Her approach has to be melodramatic. It can't be, oh no, she's on top of us. It has to be, oh no, she's approaching. 
She, she could slow yeah, walk. she has the speed of a cruise ship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's actually good. You no, know, like like that spaceship coming into the atmosphere, like. Mm -hmm. Also, there's like you know, as soon as movement crosses a certain barrier, you can't combat the enemy anymore because you can just always uh, like in and out of the fight, in and out of the fight. Good luck. I have three hundred feet of movement. Have fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah. your spells can't even catch up to me. Oh man. You should haste me and Kieran for oh. you, and then someone rides me, and then Trego and I will just swooping drive by attacks. <laughs> Trying to think how a drive by Trego would look like. You just hold oh. the spears like sideways. <laughs> <laughs> no one notices how cool it looks. <laughs> Yes. Excellent. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, later. Um, all right. Anyway, where were we? Uh, yeah. What do you, you've shared out all the crap. Yes. What are you doing now? Where are you going? Um, speculating for the next eight hours. Yeah, like no messages. messages. We're waiting for Kazar, right? Uh, I mean, yeah. not really. What are you waiting for? She's waiting for you. No, oh, no, no. She, she already she responded. Yeah. She said, uh, yeah, yeah. okay. Um, in that case, Mr. Shine is one other option one might consider. Yeah, let's message him first and then message the, the dragon child. I feel like Mr. Shine's going to be bad news for Zardos, but that's a different story. Uh, he might bring the sunlight into the night, you know? <laughs> As warrior friends, I shall join you upon this quest. I shall vanquish all evil, including undead and those dealing with undead. He was... He, no he, compromise! He did, a bit of his, he did lose a bit of his shine once the sword was completed, <laughs> if I remember correctly. Yeah, but his wish was to maintain the power so he may keep on his quest. Oh, yeah. Quest? Okay. Well... Well, Twist. I would assume that you might, since the mother is so large, you might find a spot on the other side of, I don't know, her tail or her, uh, her right wing and uh, and Mr. Shine is on the left wing. So get a bit of distance between the holy and unholy. That's anything, I'm, anything in particular I'm telling you, Mr. Shine? I don't know, I never met him. Is he the guy who likes, does he like drama? If yes, he has, you can oh. maybe sell it, you know? I think, I think... I th ask, <laughs> the world might end if you are not there. Your resistance is acquired, acquired in Neville. Yeah, so I'm basically just trying to send him to Neville, right? From the dawn of dragons. The second dawn of dragons. How good that you have joined us, Mr. Shine. You are our last hope. The fate of Aldana depends on your participation in the fight against the Mother of Dragons. Excellent, yes. You need to go and kill 15 dragons. <laughs> if you agree to be there, please answer one. If you would like to talk more, please answer too. If you require compensation, please send back to require the amount. Alright. No. Um, Go ahead. That Come and on. then Baby Dragon, yes. Baby. Or not Baby Dragon. Baby Dragon, do 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 do. Baby Dragon, do 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 do. <laughs> Alright, so we're basically just trying to get Mr. Shine and Neville, right? Yes. And uh, tell him he should be, uh, uh, contact Lady Kazar in Nebo, <laughs> or the or the patrician. Contact Lady Kazar for briefing. Hmm? Has he met either of them before? Um, I, th I I mean, he can ask at the gate, point me towards Lady no, Kazar. No, 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 I don't mean because of that, just like out of curiosity, but... Who knows, maybe he's Lady Kazar's ex or something, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. 
All right, so Mr. Shine, say, uh, hello, friend. Your assistance will be needed in Nebo. Hopefully, to stop the dragon invasion from the mother. So, fighting the mother tomorrow. Or tomorrow it's night. When are we open this goes off? Tell him just to get there as soon as as possible. Yeah, we'll be fighting the mother of dragons to hopefully stop the invasion. We can make it as soon as possible. That would be great. Uh, you receive a message back. Hello, friend! I'm aware of this great peril. However, the server has already, <laughs> already has maximum <laughs> number of players. However, I have full trust in your ability to defeat her. I shall assist you by protecting the land. This guy's always useless. It's such a waste of time contacting you. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ah. It's always such a waste of time and energy contacting Yes, he is. Right. Look, guys, do you want me playing with my own toys? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Alice, Alice, you drop dead. Excellent, I can play the toys. <laughs> No. Uh, we should send a message to Ralph, see if we can use him in combat. No, no, I do no, want to actually find him. Like that, please. Don't, I do want to try broken. and find him, but not for the fight. The victory will feel cheap if we can walk alongside him. Oh no. I, uh, they mentioned Ralph, I get on the carpet, I fly up five feet. Are you looking for <laughs> Ralph? <laughs> Are you looking for Ralph? Yeah. yeah, I would like to try and find him. All right. Um, as you, as you mention Ralph and think about him, you see Arliss rise above the ground on the carpet as beneath his carpet from the ground, like a small barrel begins to like appear as from the ground, a dirty many legged chest bursts out, does the shake. Sending the dirt flying everywhere. Opens his cover. Leaks himself clean. Pants a little bit. And totters towards you. Oh, hi, sweetie. And she hugs on to him. Yeah, she. Where, where is it? I'm looking for Leaks you with this dry, rough tongue. As he shakes gently. I'm glad you're here. There's something I need to talk with you about, okay? Alright. I could take him with me and then just throw him at the dragons and he can just start feasting on them. <laughs> well, speaking of which, as she's saying that, can I inspect him to see if he d did get any green dragons? Uh, make an investigation check, yes. He has wings. Nope. Uh, your attempt to, like look down and like look at his legs but there are a lot of them and your attempt to turn his over ends in while not a noises of discomfort this part where he like is, is hiding his belly from you basically he, like tucks in his legs and sticks to the ground and you you just cannot roll him over he's too heavy for you he may have okay. the behavior of a dog but he has the weight of a giant chest well, not giant but pretty large one all right, all right, keep your secrets. <laughs> Fun now. fact. Has anybody seen Mother of Dragons recently? <laughs> all right. I want you to promise me something, boy, okay? It tilts to the side. And she's just petting him as she's doing this. I don't know what's going to happen. 
with this fight. Um, if, if I do not come back from this fight, I want you to promise you'll watch after the others for me. Be good for them. As you can tease Arla. As you like say it, you look out for the others. He like tilts towards Arles and goes. Yeah, don't don't eat us. And then looks back you at you. Tease him, but don't eat him and don't hurt him. Make an inside check. I hope I didn't do that twice. I think I clicked no, no, right above not. it, so... Alright, so, All right. as you say your last words, there's no sound coming from Ralph, and obviously he is incapable of doing that because he lacks any facial features, but you have a feeling he's doing his equivalent of... <laughs> and you say, don't eat them. You're a good boy. I know you'll be good to them. Another slight tilt towards Aris and back to you. <laughs> Listen to Trago. Follow his words. Okay? Give me a persuasion check. Because <laughs> oh, I'm wonderful yeah. with those. <laughs> Hopefully I get a nat 20 on this one. I mean, you already got the one. Yeah, you oh, better. My <laughs> fucking life depends on this. Trigger, would you like to... I was about to, to say, you already got the one out of the way. Would you like to, ch to check if the pet is accepting of a new family member? Sure. I will try and uh, pet him. You, you put your hand on the lead and he kind of like shakes a little bit and then swiftly before you can remove your leg the lead goes up snaps onto your your fingers like bruising them and then you snap them out that's gonna smart for a couple of minutes i oh. love you as much as he loves me that's really nice to see and then you see him kind of like move to put himself between you and Melora. That was nice. Mm. Ow. I tried. But sweetie, I might not be here to watch over you anymore. Yeah, that's why we're all gonna die when we're, you're not here. <laughs> Don't do it. Next day, Melora is in seven heavens. Alright, I haven't been here in a while. Gotta pick up the business. And you hear screaming in the distance. And she like, God's running away from Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ralph can ascend with me. Uh, Ralph probably already has ascended. And only one way to find out. Ralph is a god of good dollars. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, well, we tried. I, I'll try and. They're not loading for me. The kindness <laughs> and same. It's fucking annoying. <laughs> kindness and empathy, like you showed him at the beginning. I hope it'll work. Since we don't know how this fight's gonna play out, I want to make sure whatever business I can attend to will be taken care of. You know. I'm sure my parents will be okay. They have each other. Ralph only has me. And us, but that's if he accepts you all. Yeah. Does he really need anyone, to be honest? But uh, we all want to be loved. You do? Including you, Arliss. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe don't include the inanimate ch the animated chest over there, but I don't know. Campaign 200 years later. Ralph has found a mate. Humanity has been eradicated. 
A few survivors fight against a race of mortal indestructible sentient chests. I don't know, maybe I should have told him, asked Darlis to take care of him. <gasps> that might have been interesting. <laughs> but no, no, I think it was better to do Trigo. I mean, Aris is more than welcome to take care of Ralph from the inside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll never touch him again. Would... Up here, I'm safe. <laughs> letting Arliss take care of Ralph is like letting Joe Exotic taking oh, care of tigers. It's, it's not. It's not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it is a really good idea. Maybe it's a Think really about it. good idea. <laughs> it may not be a good idea, but it is a fun idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you love watching it. Depends on what well, you mean by good. Yes. I mean, for the most part of our journey, Ralph does go off on his own. Maybe he'll be fine. She just keeps scratching him. I might have to worship two gods after tomorrow. Say so Novak? <laughs> no. Sure, okay. would I be happy with it? Oh, who's the other one? Oh, uh, look at Melora. Ah, uh, isn't it weird if you have, you know, romantic feelings for your goddess? Yes. Isn't it that way in other? No, just kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you mean you have romantic feelings? You for mean I've tree? been dry humping trees for no reason? <laughs> Is that how you found the Great Oak initially? Yeah, oh. I see, I see. Well, I mean... What really made Oak so Okay, happen? the Great Oak is like, <laughs> Okay, okay, you're a paladin now? Here's a quest, just stop! Please! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. He's technically going to be married to a god, so would that all in turn give him extra abilities if he starts worshipping her at the same time? Yeah. Only one way to I think it's out. like the King of England, he doesn't have real true power. Hey, Trangle, <laughs> one thing that... Uh, the Queen of England isn't top real! Topic, uh, was the Great Oak ever really real, or is that a synonym for your penis? <laughs> I don't, no, I don't think, my... <gasps> Trigger, stop, stop, that's not the nut that Squirtle is looking for. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay. We're getting nothing done today, I have noticed. This is gonna be good. No, but having some good old laugh right <laughs> before. I have accounted for his reaction, but not for our usual dirty joke hour. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, yes, guys, let's move okay. on. Yeah. You've done the buffing, you've done the uh, potions, you've done the messaging. Uh, now you need to send the message to the baby dragon. Yes. Right. Go back to the. Sending the same message from before. The... Willing to, willing to negotiate for the release of the hostages at dusk in the forest, my force. Is there anything else I'm adding to this? Uh, the hour, the place, the the purpose. No, I think we're good. Is it where demand? The oak, where the, where the great oak once stood, maybe? Is that her lair now? Because otherwise we don't... Yeah, yeah, that's okay. most word. probably. But yeah, let's say let's meet there, and um, yeah, I mean, we sort of do need uh, like, um, hey, this is what we get in return for these hostages. Well, we'll, we'll talk it's about that in the negotiations. I don't know if that fits into t the twenty-five words. No, no, I agree. I just this is something we should think about. Like, what are we going to be lying to her about? What do we want? Uh, her Freedom. to leave the realm alone? You're going to Gaul? That's fine. Gaul? That's fine. This one's ours. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, I don't know. We can ask hey, for it. Hey, we, 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 we could tell her that. Hey, we're willing to trade away the Gaul kingdom if you leave our kingdom alone, okay? This is the deal. We get Aldana, you get Gaul, and this week, and everything else. 
You can also have the desert. That's also okay. You don't, you don't know that technically there's a lot more land around that I haven't drawn because I'm lazy and hate drawing yeah, maps. That's, that's their problems. It's the heroes of those lands that can take care of that. <laughs> True. <laughs> Let's see if Gaul can can rile up a defense against her. Well, so yeah, I'm okay with that. I mean, we're just but I mean, this is trying your, to stall. This is compelling so logic. next like campaign, uh, your so Gaul heroes you need to prepare for the fight against the Mother of Dragons. And then defeat the evil heroes of Aldana. Yes. To usher them your way, yes. yes. Alright, uh, well, uh, do you have the final message you want to send? Uh, yes. We'd like to negotiate for the release of your siblings with your mother at dusk in the blind forest. At the Great Oak. Oh, well, where the Great Oak once was. Where the Great Oak used to stand. Right. Um. <clears> hi. <throat> oh, you sent a message. And you wait. Anything you want to do while you wait? Pray to the Great Oak. <laughs> uh, should we get started moving there? Um, I don't know. Also, what I do want to do is actually just leave one of these bottles behind here, maybe. I, I don't know, you know, like, if it feels like we take all along, and she senses we have all of them with us, she's like, oh, maybe I just kill you, and then uh, I'll have all three of my tickets. Oh, how about this? As a security measure, you actually, uh, you give... Um... You could one or two you give to your wife, Zaros, and you t tell we can tell the mother we have one of your children with us. If you attack us now here, we will send a message to the person who holds them captive, and she uh, uh, and they will kill them immediately. Well, I like it. Yeah. Like a. Uh... Then she, uh, we yeah, can and, if, and have if, one back. Then she, what she will guaranteed lose that child. Yeah, and it'll we be could. Yeah, no we could if, also, we don't, if they don't hear from us in a certain time, they're going to yeah. expose. Them. We could also also then say, as a sign of good faith, we are willing to give you one back. Right now, yeah. Yeah, that, I, I as like a sign of good like faith, we're one. willing to give you this. Throw a wing down. <laughs> <laughs> Throw the armor on top. <laughs> You'll get the rest of them after we finish this conversation. And you better start talking, because yeah, there's another wing waiting. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean that's that's the whole thing, right? In a hostage uh, negotiation, you never bring the hostages with you. You always yeah. keep them in a the safe place where you Unless can give... You can insta-kill them, you. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Well, we can insta-kill them, probably, if we get them out. But yeah, it wouldn't really help us in, in that instance, no. being correctly in front of her. No, but because once you start killing the hostages, that's, that is when you forfeit your own life. Basically. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> so now I goes like, well, I mean, now you have nothing. Good luck. Yeah, basically in their one hit point, if we just let them out and say, go, oh, well, fine. And just fireball them all right there. Then sure, they'll die, but then we will too. Shouldn't we just ask her to go to, back to the Feywild and stay there and never come back to this plane? That uh, seems like an unrealistic demand. And we don't need to make an unrealistic demand when we can make one that seems realistic. Like, yeah. Why actually... is it an unrealistic demand? Because she will never go, ever go back into her prison. Why would she do that? It's We're a whole saying... plane. It's not like an incy little space. If she considers ah. it a prison, it doesn't matter. And when, when, he, when here we can just say, look... Uh, you know, the whole the rest, just leave this little part alone, maybe she'll take it. Yeah. And it doesn't matter, we only need to keep her busy, and um, it's probably easier to keep her busy and talking and, like, making a deal we when could she's even... actually in uh, has sort of an option. We could even tell her, hey, if you are willing to leave this kingdom alone, we will help you take Gaul. <laughs> <laughs> because I really have a pro I, I have made a promise by accident, but I do intend to keep it at some point. There is a castle that needs to be destroyed there. 
Yep. I mean, if she's not going to do it, I was going to take care of it. But yeah, sure. It's the thrassels. Yeah. Even the I mean, innocents? I mean, the innocents are fine. Just, yeah. is, is there anyone really innocent in Gaul? Or has yes, their corruption plenty. spread into even the, the children? Of course they are innocents. We're just bluffing. We're just trying to make time, but it needs to sound reasonable. I mean, yes. she, 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 she is a queen, right? She or she sees herself as a queen or a leader of some kind, so she wouldn't want to kill every one of her sub, uh, subjects. She wants to have. Yeah, can't a, really be a ruler with any any much room. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Unless you're a necromancer and you make your own subjects. <laughs> <laughs> Well, then you actually want them dead, so they be become a lot, a lot more compliant, probably. Yeah, but as far as we know, she's not a necromancer, so we're good. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not yet. Uh, let's okay, wait until that... she meets Saeed Nevek. So let's, uh, with that plan in mind, let's give Eliana one... I really hate this part, actually, but let's give Eliana one of the fucking three dragon bottles. Do we give her one, or should we give her two? I think well, one. We're just gonna can go we, with one. I think one, then we can, we can leave, like, let one free, have a second one on hand to show we have more, talk about the third one, uh, promise to release this one once we are let out, uh, once we're gonna be leaving, stuff like that. Once we have securely left the forest, we'll let this one go too. You know. Yeah, keeping this... Yeah, going in there with two, I'm sure she, she's, she's got like what, 28 of these guys left. She might be, be sacrificing one. But this is not... This is a mother's love for her children. I don't think she wants to sacrifice any of them. Wait a moment, this is... If it comes to, you know, getting revenge Look, on us... She is called the Mother Dragons, not the entitled parent of dragons. <laughs> This might be really short. We like go in, present our demands, and then she says, "Okay." No, 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 and no, then, no. Then, then we first ask her wh why she came back here and how did you do it, and let her tell her story. You know. And how does she feel yeah, about it? Yeah. Yes, you how does she feel yes. about it? You, how did you could you get the idea? How did it feel way back then when you were in prison? You know that you will never get story. away with this. <laughs> You could even get her to start like, uh, like triumphantly talk about how she defeated your god, Trego. You could be like, "Oh, you defeated my god! How did you do it?" Oh, and she's like, "Ha ha ha ha! I fucked him." Yeah, basically, I'm saying basically, we go in there and say we don't fully understand the story. Please tell us your story. We yeah. actually don't. So yeah. And yeah, that is actually a really good point. Also. I don't know how I would navigate the 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 the, um, the conversation into that direction, but remember when we met the last uh, of her children uh, near the Great Oak? She was about to uh, go on about how things got uh, uh, like they were uh, um, made the bad the guys, guys, guys. etc. And then the fucking stupid idiot Jahan just attacked outright. Mm -hmm. oh. I actually wanted to listen to uh, to her, and we can maybe get her to explain. Hey, before we kill your daughter, she said that you're not the good guys. Care to elaborate? Uh, you're not the bad guys. Did I say good guys? I don't know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bad. Maybe that will have... work. Maybe, yes, we just maybe not that the wording. Question. What did you want yeah. to say, Melora? Uh... What if, this is a huge what if too, what if she doesn't have feelings for her offspring? Like, what if she's just one of those parents that's like, oh, yeah, go ahead, we'll go ahead and birth no, three we'll more. Discuss it. We'll, we'll be dead. <laughs> we'll be fucking dead if it happens and the whole plan mm. is such a piece of shit. I have a recommendation. How about we stand very, very close to a tree at all times that is big enough for us to walk through? So we have the option of Arliss teleporting us out and Melora walking us through a tree. That sounds great. Yeah, at least oh. close enough that we can get into it quickly. What if her story yeah. really compels us to think that she is the good guy and we are the bad guys? Then uh... we will go back to the dragon homeworld and destroy them all. 
Yeah, uh, we'll take a second round trip. We'll bring her with us. We'll kill them all. I mean, sure. I mean, if she sure. has yeah. proof that she, they are actually the good guys, I would want to see it. And I'm happy to reevaluate all my moral standing ones I'm presented with such evidence. But merely based on the utterings of one creature, I will not deviate from where I stand. She yeah, might that be sounds really good. convincing. Then, of we course, will... I will switch sides immediately and betray okay. everyone. Just, just make sure. sure. We're, all the, we're all on the same page. Good, good. But on a scale from like 1 to 35, she would have to be a 37. That's a easy DC to... <laughs> yeah, for a green dragon, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Sounds good. Maybe the... The little dragon will respond, we'll find out. But um, until then, I guess we wait till we depart. I mean, I'll pray for the oak. I know he's probably can't hear. Still do it. Um, question, how do we get there, actually? I was thinking about that. Um, well, either we fly on your back, but it'll take too long, and we would need to leave uh -huh. like right now, right? We would have need. I, it's more than ten hours. It's yes. like so. We I hours think we still something. have the time probably, but we we would oh no into the deepness also. Um, but I would be exhausted. By I that, I personally would say wind walk because wind walk also gives us this, the additional option that it'll stay up for like eight hours, right? Mm -hmm. And that um, if she teleports and then she defies us in Nebo, we can still move quickly within Nebo to where, wherever something might be happening. Like that it looks... might it might also turn out useful actually in Nebo because yeah. Nebo isn't yeah. a small city either, and having that speed will be very valuable. I think. Plus, always handy to have something else on us that could be dispelled that yeah that's good too like it doesn't um, automatically get hero's feast first time she casts anything uh she tries to dispel mm. more mm. dispel shields though i honestly um out of character feel like they will be uh, spitting acid so <laughs> that's yeah, just me. probably uh, so yeah so yeah hero's feast and then it'll uh Wind walk and then it'll what take us how many hours to get there? Three? A little more? Three and a half? Yeah, a little more than three. Um, wait a minute, we're casting Hero's Feast again? No, 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 sorry, that was. We st I want to say Wind walk. Oh, okay. We already have Hero's <laughs> Feast, right? This is gonna so be fun. No need to stack. Yeah. But yes. And then we can leave it like um, six here. And we should be right about on time. Here. Out of character question, can you need to spell potions? I have Is that a thing? No. We'll they don't work like beliefs. So. Okay. Yeah, potion effect, spell effect. Yeah, I would think potion falls in under a different effect than spells. Also, Quick uh, clarification question for the DM. All potions are bonus action to drink? Or only healing potions? Let's say only healing, otherwise it's gonna be a bit too good. God damn it. Every other yeah, turn you get a bit stronger with every potion you chug. I mean, bonus action is still expensive for me. But... I mean, it's still better than whatever you get by default, so... That's true. I mean, yes, the healing potions are still better, yeah. The rest is normal. Alright. Um, okay. Oh? Are you done discussing your plan? Yes, we are waiting till like 6 p.m. so we can cast well, and walk. Well, I assume you're waiting for them to actually respond that they accept your. Sure. Yeah, maybe. Your... But uh, if she doesn't, then till 6. Mm. So, um, as you send that message and go into this like half an hour rant of 
uh, what you're actually gonna say. I think you might have wanted to discuss a bit earlier, but whatever. Um, you do get a relatively meek response back from the girl, well, from the dragon, dragon girl, uh, who just tells you, Mother will be waiting. To fuck you up. Yeah, it looks like she'll be waiting for us. Okay. This might be fun. Probably not. <laughs> it's gonna be a blast. <laughs> Depends on uh, what you define like as fun. Walking into a volcano. Walking into the lion's den. Yeah. Or the dragon's den. Even worse. I mean, I would actually exchange this whole thing with the lions then, because if yeah. I walk alone into a lions, then they get fucked. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, it's like your average person walking into the lions then, you know? You get fucked. <laughs> the Probably comparison not. is pretty okay. Yeah. Time to find out how hard we get fucked. Yo. I think we're waiting till 6 p.m. in that case. And then wind walking to our doom. Wind walking to our doom is overrated. We should moonwalk to our doom. True. The moonwalk hasn't been invented yet, sweetie. Then I think we have some time to do something. Right? Maybe you could redefine the moonwalk where, where you cast a moon. Uh, what is that called? Moonbeam. Moonbeam moon beam on yourself, and you just walk through it, and it's very anticlimactic. <laughs> uh, you know what this? Um, uh, how do you call it? Pep up talk reminds me of. What's that? This. I'll watch it later. Lucas might recognize the gentleman. All right. Um, where are we? All right, yeah. So you, uh, I assume, actually catch Leanne and explain to her your plan about giving her a single flask. I mean, we're all just making this up. It doesn't matter. Like, um, she, she, we're, we're giving her one, but it doesn't matter if she knows the other part of the plan, right? It's just like, if she doesn't eat our bluff, we're just dead. So, uh, I, I mean, matter. actually, it we we it may actually be good if Zarda if Zarda's. Here's the reason why I would want to give two hostages. Yeah, to Eliana, be because better. we if if she does if she if she calls uh, if she calls our bluff, we can actually send a message, and um and get one killed, and maybe she feels it. I don't know. Maybe she's super connected to her children, and feels how one actually perishes, and then she's like, oh, okay, you you're right. You actually ha have some in capture, and having to and I'm pretty sure that Eliana can turn them as well. Not I mean, you can ask her. How did we kill the? How did we kill the dragons that were like a few sessions ago? You mean we didn't? You mean we killed two, in right? What manner? You killed two. And by we, I mean I killed two. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 Zardo Zardo killed technically killed one. Yeah. Oh right, right, right. right. I don't know. So, yeah, I don't I think... think she would like feel that shit, but yeah, I think it's, that, that I sounds think it's way too, too magical. Too also, I, mean, like, I mean, we we can also the kill. By time we've sent the message again, we, like that's a turn. <clears throat> we we can also kill one in front of her. Is what you're saying? 
Yeah, that's also an Oh option. my, no. <laughs> well, yeah, when I mean, yes, the talks break right down, sure. Uh, well, we do have one, one, one here. I would, I would propose that that we keep the two here, just so we don't have to, because if if we, here's here's the thing, if we say we still have one with us, then she is likely to target the one who has that flask on them, which may be very problematic. If we say we have two in, in safekeeping, this one we brought in good faith. If you hear us out, you will get to keep this child. And if things go sideways, we kill that one in front uh, um, first. If we take the... Sure, the sure, I, I'm down. Well, uh, I'm down. Yeah, whatever. Let's do that. And then we also don't have to lie. Because I'm pretty sure that, that she will sniff the lies. I just don't like the idea of executing them right in front of their mother. That 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 just feels wrong. I, I know, I know, I know, I know it's the plan, I know that's what we gotta do, but it still doesn't make it any easier. Well, hopefully we won't have to. Hopefully we won't have to. I hear but you, honey. You don't have to do it, I can do it. I don't find that objectionable. We're trying to win. That was like, no, let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've been killing all the other witnesses and stuff, things we've been doing, so yeah, don't need to break the cycle. There's a lot in common between Ralph and Zardos. <clears throat> but, no, he's... <laughs> no, ridiculous. Ralph rocks, Zardos sucks. <laughs> <laughs> With all those uneven legs, of course he rocks. Yeah, that must be a bumpy ride. Okay, well, we... Uh, Trago is uh, a real notch. To dragons, then to Eliana, we tell yeah, her... Yeah, which ones, though? There's uh, uh, one big boy and two small boys. A big boy and a small boy. We keep the yeah. small boy. Okay. Yeah, so so if we keep... keep, keep let's... Uh, let, uh, hmm. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. If only we knew the names that others <laughs> given to all of them. I mean, you can let them go and ask. Uh, it's like 30 names. No, I think, I think referring to them as big boys and small boys is, is good, even though th one of them is female. <laughs> but sure. Not good enough. We're ignorant. Uh, yes. We can say, say big unit and small unit. Unit yeah. is genderless. A small and a medium. Okay. I hate you. So they will hand those over and just let her let her know to be ready to take care of them if the need arises. I I totally see Dan once we release the the dragon to the mother. Then the mother dragon's like, "Oh, Robert, I miss you so much, Robert. <laughs> Robert, <laughs> you know how your much siblings, Eliana and uh, Andrea. Where are they? Exactly." Did you see them? Also, these uh, your two brothers, um, John and Jack, have been worrying about you so much, Robert. <laughs> well, oh. that's all the bullshit we can have for today. Now, <laughs> Do you wanna, would you like to continue? Yes, yes, I yes. would like to continue. Let's time. Let's do the time skip. Time work. Um Damn it. Uh alright, doesn't matter. Uh, where were we? Yes, you were waiting. Uh no. Have you decided what you're putting where? Do you explain anything to her? Come on guys! Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're saying. We yes give her yes. hand over the two dragons, let her know to be ready to Right. Release right. Them. Yeah. this code word and execute. Okay. Yes. So Aliana is intending to travel to Nebo and await uh, you there to join you for the final battle okay. against the Mother. And any okay. other message you send her to execute Order 66. 
fine, I think. <laughs> it's going to go, be called season. Yeah, and if things go sideways and you don't hear from us by the time the mother shows up, then yeah, go ahead and look at Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, fair enough. And uh, shortly after that, Alian actually leaves because she does need quite a bit of time to get herself and her army to Nebo. Um, and actually, that kind of does mean that uh, the army isn't going anywhere. It's mostly just her and the bats flying right here, right now. And uh, you chill in the castle, drinking wine and blood. And I'm not drinking alcohol before the big battle. Are you insane? That's the perfect way to relax. You know, calm your nerves. It's fine. Just a little bit. Look, look, I'm gonna extra search natural one, natural one, natural one. Wait, it doesn't matter. We're immune to poison. <sighs> no. Uh, making it a point, Melora's spending as much time with Trego as she can. Hmm. Like, she's not leaving his side. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if there are private rooms. Yeah, maid service will be around later. That will be mostly romantic. We don't need to hear Question for, for Melora and Trango. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to make love on the back of a golden dragon flying across the sky? This might be your only chance. <laughs> also, how do you know we didn't do it already? Why do you think Gusor was so annoyed at you? <laughs> <laughs> Stealth fucking on the back. <laughs> I feel something is off, but I don't know what. Are the, is someone clapping in the background? Oh, is there a theater around here? Oh, something is definitely going to go off in a minute. <laughs> Half an hour later, Orgosor, honey, I'm home. What is this? What is this? Is this? <laughs> what is this? Did the bird shit on my back? This is why we left the human world three centuries ago. <laughs> Because they were always fucking on our backs. <laughs> and that's why they don't give humans right on their back. <laughs> New canon reason has been discovered. Why <laughs> dragons do not like the rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> A folklore mm. tale. It's really hard to clean up there, you know? Right. With your search. That's it. That's it. This is the furthest we can go. We can go no further. The campaign must stop now. We can't stop this. This is it. We're done. <laughs> Epilogue. <Wait. laughs> Alright. Silence. No, but like uh in, no. like in real No, no. In real Shut up. You send an yeah. off. As you spend <laughs> your last hours before possibly losing each other for all eternity. You wait there. Fate tower with bated breath. And when the clock strikes, you cast Windwalk. Uh, Julius are still a dragon, right? Uh, yeah, if we Windwalk, I'm gonna. Just stay dragon, why not? I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay dragon. I think. You have remained a dragon through the long rest. Yeah. You didn't get any of his spells back. Because you're a dragon. I mean, you didn't do yeah. any spells. Right? I'm aware. Well. Before before I turned, I only expanded the level 9 spell okay. slot. Shit. Oh, in your warlock. Anyway. Um, yeah, I right. Cast him the walk, and you head, I assume, to a random nearest part of the blind forest. Yes. <clears throat> that is the plan. After a swift, uh, please, Lord, don't forget to expand your spell slot. Um, Already did. Because I'm sure this is going to be the difference between you die and you don't die as a spell slot. Um, so don't use it. <laughs> you land after a brief flight uh, at the edge of the forest. And you did catch a glimpse of the forest yesterday. The forest has changed compared to the last time you saw it. Last time you saw it, the forest was dying. 
with the trees mostly, well, dead and leaveless. And it was not just because it was winter. It was the result of the Great Oak and his diminishing powers. Now you find the forest in full bloom. Trees, greener and thicker than they seem to have ever been. Lush. The underbrush is impenetrable. The bushes cling to each other and to the trees around them. And as you come closer, you see thorny vines inter twined between the bushes, creating them into a natural razor barbed wire fence. Only one of you who have any chance of getting through this is Melora. And that is because trees love her. Not the way Trek loves trees. They actually love her. Not Melora scared of Trek. And yet, <laughs> as you stand in front of the forest, Thinking, okay, what do we do now? Do we send another message? You see, the vines begin to creep as they unlock, and the bushes seem to move aside, and the branches of the trees lift, creating a narrow but clear pathway that leads deep into the forest. Let's fly along. Straight in. This is a fortress, not a forest. You fly right in, hearing the bushes and the trees behind you creak as they return to their locked position. And as you do, can't help but notice the denseness of the forest watching you. A herd of deer stopping, watching you pass by before they return to their business. An owl hoot watching you as you pass by. A flock of night birds join you for a moment and disappear. I was saying the trees have ears. Here, everything is The trip through the forest is annoying and creepy as you're led through this tunnel. Especially Arliss, you without any kind of dark vision, is quite inconvenienced in this dark forest. For the branches of the leaves and the canopy are almost interlocked, letting the barest minimum of light through, and it's 10 in the evening, there's not much light to begin with. So let me write the time down. But you follow... Oh, I probably got a prominence. Oh, you did. At noon. Uh, but you follow the silhouettes of your cloud friends who do have a bad night vision as you navigate these channels. Um, your speed is 30 miles per hour, right? An hour and a half later or so, you come upon... Can I quickly interrupt yeah. because of time? Since we left at 6, I think this, we should be there earlier than 10. We're 30 Did you want to be there earlier? Yeah, like the, since it's like 105, 110. The idea was like to get there around when actual sunset is appearing, right? So not later okay. than that. Yeah. So we would li like to be like there like a half past nine or like quarter. The sunset nine. is gonna be ten thirty. Ten thirty. Yes. Oh, not nine thirty. Ten thirty. You sure? Yes. You said I think you said. Yes, it's May. It's yeah. south. Okay, so. Okay, uh, well then, that worked out fine. then 10 30, sure. Because, like, you go there, be there you get Zardos out of the bag, and you continue flying okay. through the forest. 
So, uh, 10, 30, 11, 12, midnight is when you reach the center of the forest. But we were planning for the center, like to be in the center at 10, 30, basically. Okay. Yes, because that's what we are measuring. We're not measuring to the edge here, which would be 60. We were measuring to the center, which is right. 105. Okay, sure. 10. All right, fine. Okay, sure. Because otherwise our time is going to be off. Or yeah. Because our yeah. form I mean, really off. You kind of intend to send her additional messages, but whatever. Um, where was it? Yeah, all right, sure. Sure. 10.30, you reach the center of the forest, the four of you, um, and see in front of you an even denser graph of as trees that seem like they've grown here for centuries form an impenetrable wall. Uh, Circular dome, like walls of a castle. You see the cannabis intertwine as the branches form floors and a kind of an eerie from which you see the peeking heads of younger, smaller dragons watching your approach with unmistakable curiosity. The whole construction, if it can be called such, grows, is gargantuan in size. The height of these trees being well above a hundred feet, and then the eerie stands on top of that. You imagine that whatever they encircle is a giant dome, and right in front of you, you see the gap between those trees. Darken gap from inside of that space you see gentle green light. Let's get Arlis let's no. get Zardis out of the bag. Mm-hmm. I will um, we need to turn back first, right? I'll, so we're yeah. Gonna, like, start turning back from clouds to our usual forms, be that the huge dragon or our humanoid forms. Mm -hmm. And I will waft Zardos out of the bag. Huh? I will cast Death Ward on uh, Arliss and Death Ward Did on Leos in dragon form. Is he in dragon form? Yes. Yes. Um. And I will give Arliss dark vision. Um, how does it work? I'll lay down. Oh yeah, you've got it. Good. Um. Okay. Um. Thank you. Yeah. So you stand in the grassy. Um, field is around this giant dome. I turn into the humanoid form. Like, in your dragon form, you would easily actually be able to enter the dome. Mm -hmm. uh, just, like, giving you a scale of a kind. Okay. That's good to know. Um, Do you venture to Let's send yes, then... Lady Kazara a message that oh. we are here, and... Um... We're starting We're going to start the negotiations in just a bit. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking, um, could we have about 10 more minutes before we do this? No. Because <laughs> we're not doing it now. I don't sure. know if we're going to have time. That's my fear. I, want, I know we were thinking about waiting, but I don't know if we're going to have the time for me to do this. Uh, do you want to do your thing? <sighs> you do it now, do you don't fight the mother, there's a chance you're going to be gone before you fight mother. 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, You'll have 10 minutes before you... You don't know how long it's gonna last. It could last you a day, but it could last you a minute. See, that's the only thing that's got me worried, is if we immediately get into the fight with the mother, I'm we not going to be able to... Then we'll be running, then we won't be fighting. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to say you have no chances to defeat her right now, but... With her two uh, eldest ones... Uh, I mean... Uh, you're going to get dunked. I'd better get out my loaded dice then. No. And they're not the nice way loaded. <laughs> Out of character, if you guys think we're going to have the time before the fight, then yeah, I have no yes. problem waiting. I'm just getting anxious with that part. to Because like it might get to the point where I don't even get to choose if I want to do that. We just go straight that, into That it. might happen, and that might not be the worst thing, you know? It well, depends on how yeah. much you fuck up your negotiation. Yeah, uh, in other words, up. knowing Caduceus' records, you better do this now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nah, this will be the one negotiation where I don't threaten to kill anyone. <laughs> That's, not true. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, I should have told you this earlier, but it doesn't matter. We're not fighting today anyway. We don't have time enough. Uh, all right, so do you head in? Do we what? Do you head what? into oh, the it? dome? Yes. Uh, have we sent Lady Kazar the message? Yeah, Sardos? please. Uh... Do we need to? Yes, she needs to start the ritual while we are here and can see the small, the yeah. two small ones, basically. Small. Okay. The two huge dragons that are small in comparison to the building dragon. Alright, I will send her a message that we are about to begin negotiations. Walking into the heart of the mother's territory. Mm. Dark vision is like 60 feet, you see dim light in darkness, bright light dark... in dim light, and after 60 feet, it's just nothing, right? Basically, so it's this, no, okay. this, this forest is otherwise not like dim light, even um, though you said there will be a couple hours of dim light, but probably not. Not in the forest, yet. no. I mean, no, you see some green light from the dome, but uh, from inside the dome, but uh, yeah. I mean, I am. Ac I mean, no. Yeah. I mean, technically, that works against the dragons as well if they try to take distance. But yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Though knowing Leo Snow, the dragons have usually better eyesight than humans do. Because you have better eyesight than humans do. Yeah. Uh, this kind of is disappointing because you have made a beautiful map, and now we will not get to see it. No, no, you'll get to see it, but like I was testing it with different uh, players, and like the way artists would have seen it would be the coolest. Well, I, I'm not gonna give you dark vision for a moment, so you'll get to enjoy it, and then I'm gonna give you dark vision. Uh, everybody else has to suffer. <laughs> uh, also, I wanted to lighten this aura a little bit because it's a bit too... Yellowish, greenish? Yeah, it interferes a little bit with this <coughs> Alright. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um... Better go away. Alright, yeah, so um, you start heading towards the dome, and as you walk, you see the tall grass that you have landed into. It's not tall enough to cause you significant difficulty in movement. It's about like knee tall, but as you walk, you see the grass itself kind of like flatten itself in front of you, and you see more thorny vines slither away from underneath your feet creating this pathway. You're pretty sure that if you had to run around here in the dark without Melora's abilities, you'll be doing a lot of tumbling and stumbling and ouching into thorns. You walk up to the dome. 
and enter underneath the cover of retention trees. Massive they are. Inside you see a few more tall trees growing up to the ceiling, serving as support pillars for the eerie above. But the rest of this is a beautiful glade, the smooth grass covering the ground, and a pathway of flowery bushes leading you further into the dome. Grassy and flowery fields surrounding it, as little bugs, fireflies, fly from one to another. You walk down the smoother, mossy path to the central pillar and enter the alley of trees none of you have ever seen before. They seem to be made of beautiful cherry pink leaves as they line the sidewalks. And from those trees, or maybe the bugs upon them, you see this pretty, gentle, glowing green light. The atmosphere is, fusion, is further pleasant, pleasured, uh, by the sounds of a narrow creek that runs through this glade to the right side of the dome. In other words, you see this as you wait for the map to load. Obviously, take forever. So pretty! It's a freaking Japanese garden! <laughs> Old map. It loaded for me already. Well, it's not loading for me on my other thingy, because... Mm. Yes? Also, it's a really big map and I had to make it smaller, because otherwise it wouldn't load at all. Anyway... Um... Oh yeah, there it is. It's loaded. Oh, there we go. Alright, so yeah. And this is how it should look like. Let's see if I can... Uh, no, that's better. Yeah, very pretty. And... Arrows. The feet of dark vision. Now you should be able to see a lot better. Can you like take it away? It was more. It was prettier before. I know, but <laughs> you had dark vision. That's why I said it's it's pretty. Yes, yeah, suck it. It's even less pretty for Zardos and Leos because both of them have one twenty dark vision. You basically see everything right away. Uh, it doesn't matter. So uh, yeah. Let's uh, move on in. Slowly. I run. Ah! <laughs> Leroy Jenkins! <laughs> okay, oh, I don't. It seems odd. If this was created by the Mother of Dragons, she's got... It, it seems like she has more in common with the Great Oak. So I guess why that she might not... She has gardening skills, but not... You know that being evil and having gardening skills are combinable. Well, she might not be evil. We don't know the whole story. Yeah, we don't know the whole story. That's true. No, it just seems odd that the two of them wouldn't have teamed up together. If they both care about nature. Well, the Great Oak was the vanguard, or essentially the creature holding her in the prison. I don't know really well, if the Great Oak... Not only that, he was god of all living things and... Nature, Think about and it light, way, and Mama. joy, and fun, <clears throat> and happiness. You mm. enjoyed the pretty dress you wore to uh, the king, for example, right? The green one, you like that one? Yeah. yeah. Well, the noble ladies in Gaul also like pretty dresses. No, I guess I see what you mean. I don't. Oh, we're heading up, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get what I mean. keep up? 
the, sl the, the slavers can enjoy the same things oh. as she does, and as they are in vastly different. Honey, keep up. Uh, yeah, right yeah. Next to you. Oh, that honey. Okay. <laughs> Not you, Lewis. That's a honey. Oh, the other one. <laughs> oh, put <laughs> put uh, Death Ward on Narlas and uh, Lewis. Oh, yeah, sure. And then I guess we can remember Hero's Feast, but yeah. Is there a token for it? Yeah. Oh, there is. Uh, yes. It looks <laughs> like Cornucopia. I'm just blind at the moment. Where is fucking. It's dead! Alright. So, yeah, you walk Jesus. in. And just for reference, yes, all of those big trees definitely look big enough for you to use uh, a tree. Well, trust better plants if you so desire uh, and like uh, on the I uh, basically like on the small on the pink trees I marked out where the trunks would be for the purpose of you know cover and line of sight and stuff like that obviously the trunks are not on top of the trees they're beneath the trees uh, but yeah yeah quite pretty map I did made yes. I made this um, Okay, okay. So, um, yeah, as you across the middle of the glade, you see those giant gargantuan roots creeping into the glade. And you see them ascend into the vertical wall of what was the Great Oak. Its trunk still partially standing, still clinging to the ground. Though now a shell of itself, a splintered and carved shell, serving as a private residence of Mother herself. This is ironic. As you approach from above, you hear and very quickly see, especially those of you as. Uh, long range dark vision. Two large green shapes. As two gargantuan dragons land softly both sides of the pathway. Watching it. Definitely recognize one of them as a male, for you have fought them before. Captured even. The other one looks different, though not any smaller. The dragon to your left speaks. Hold. Stop. We'll stop. Wait by the tree. Please accept your, or assume your, we're ready to get into negotiation, uh, formation. Just in case our own initiative. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we should make a penis. <laughs> because damn. she's about wow. to get fucked. <laughs> wow. I mean... I don't, I don't know. Is it... Are you sure you want me to bring out enough dragons to repeat what you just want to wanted to do because i certainly have enough dragons to do that <laughs> let's continue this is the, the formation yes right. <laughs> ahead of you you see those roots of the great oak that form a giant arch arch and the darker dimmer passageway leading into its hollow shell and there you see single glowing light like a giant gem amber in color bedded to what looks like a giant carved throne of only it you see even a silhouette at this distance but more like shadows moving Past the light, blocking the light. 
something humongous. Disappears. Having the light filling the throne. Which is indeed a giant. Not seat. A seat would be too human. But. Well, a nest. Let's call it that. Utrega. The ember light. The gem. Where the left and the right armrest of the seat would have been, you see two figures half embedded into the wood. One is a large white wolf pelt. The other one is a tree man? The upper torso of a person whose skin seems to be made of bark and hair made of branches. Hanging trophies. Star contrast, this grandiose and opulent display. You don't even hear. But at some point within your vision, a figure appears. An ethereal, almost pale, in this light figure of a beautiful. Elven woman walking barefoot upon the carpet of grass. Her long, pale hair hanging down her back to the ground and dragging away. comes within visual range, small and frail as she is, the man's pressure of knowing who is hiding behind that form seems to almost penetrate the arcane protection gifted upon you by the hero's fist. Stand in the presence Mother of Dragons. Can you put her up one more time? I was scrolling in and immediately made her small again. And just for reference. And quite simple. As seemingly you find yourselves at lack for words, the woman speaks softly. I'd like to know more about you. Why don't you start with names? Hi, I'm Leos. Sardos. Trigo. And that lives up to nine. Hey, 
What's yours? You did a guess. The yes, really. Ask Know my name. I am the mother of dragons. I believe the mother of slaughtered children. I am where and mare. Since you've come to me, there is but one question I have. Why have you killed my baby? Which ones? Damn! <laughs> you see the two dragons to the side snarl as they like almost leap forward. But the slight movement, the mother stops them. As you see, no change in her face, no anger, no hatred, just. An emotion of sadness and acceptance. Is pleasing. You know, after all these centuries, kind has changed not for the better. You make it easy to hate. I know you have a trap prepared for me. I wonder what makes me confident. Well, to be frank, when I look at the situation, I wonder the same. I'm not all that confident. The first one that I was involved with, to be quite frank, is what I would consider self-defense. Why? We were merely looking for a dragon in this forest. Why? Because there were rumors of it. Because my friends had seen it before. And dragons hadn't been seen in 300 years, you said. And when we came here, we were, well, under attack by our two children, which is when the first one died and the female one fled. And why? And cried for you. Did they attack you? They were. We were trying to stop them from corrupting or destroying the great oak. When we came to the blind forest, black trees, black and red trees, were sprouting about, leeching or draining his power. Ah. Yes, you. The child of a jailer. I met another. Joined with the nature now. Finally, redeemed his fertilizer. Why do you hate the oak? I shouldn't. The blind side. Why did he? That Cruel. More of a god. Who listens to your kind before they listen to reason and truth? Why must I not be angry? Did they, listen? Did they listen to our kind? Or to the other side of your kind? 
on the other side of whatever happened in that war. It's not like any of us really knows truly what happened or what your side looked like. We only ever get one person. would be interested in hearing your side, your truth. Now? Is it not too late for you to learn anything now? You've already made it's your choices. To learn. We've already made what? You've already made your choices. What does the truth matter for you? Will you turn around and surrender? If you were to learn it? That depends on the truth. Yes. More than open to finding out what's actually going on. What we know is the story that our ancestors told us, and the stories that the metallic dragon told us. Both were not in favor of you, to say the least. It's where you've terrorized our kind, and the metallic dragons helped us. Ban uh, banish you to the Feywild. That's the gist of it. If that's not really how it is, then please enlighten us. Is this not true? You came here promising to return my children. That is what matters. We can... We can do it like this. We have three of your children. Each one of them is in something similar to this. And I'll like reach into the bag of holding and get out uh, the iron flask we have with us. I'm sure you are somewhat familiar with the concept. Maybe. Well, one is here with us. And we are more than happy to provide proof by letting him or her free. The other two are with a friend of ours outside of the forest. And if we do not return, then she will have to draw the necessary consequences. We are here to listen to your side of the story. And to, if we get lucky, depending on however you see it, maybe negotiate a deal on how to proceed with Aldana in a way that is manageable for both sides. Because I don't feel like... I don't know. It'll... Both of us want in this country to be shaped according to our individual perspective but the deal comes later if there will be a deal if you're willing to talk about one there has been one person before who looked like a snake who worked for our enemy who turned around and um, proved to be a good soul Someone whose morals are aligned with our, or were aligned with our morals. And we did not go after that person anymore. We stopped right then and there. And if your side of the story is so different, if you have evidence that makes it that so you are on the right side and the other people were not justified in their reasoning, reasoning and actually wrong, then there is evidence in the past of us changing our opinion on that. Not that you'd really care about us, the reason you care are our children, the, yeah, are the children we have, but just to put it out there. This is why I'd like to hear your side of the story. Make me persuasion check. Uh, I'm gonna use Tides of Chaos. You're gonna blow up, boy. Hmm? You're gonna blow up. I'm just stacking my first one. die. 
Which one am I missing? Ay, 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 that's some fucking bad dice. Uh, I'm gonna use... no. Okay. 17 is a shit roll. But we need time, oh, so right, whatever. Nice. I'll use a luck. Let's see if we get something higher. 21. Your words, they flow smoothly like honey. It is so easy to forget that you come here drenched in the blood of my children. You've promised to show me the proof. Do that. Sure, I'll show you your, ch your first child, sure. I'll um, speak the command word and let out the. Yeah. I mean, we only have one with us. It's, yeah, but which one did you take one. with you? The, the small, small boy, boy one, one that we small met boy? down in the teleportation chamber. All right. Small boy. It's Robert. <laughs> Robert. Uh, this is a command right. word, and you see that shape flash out of the flask and. Uh, kind of like. Inflate into dragon a figure uh, the ground in front of you. Still bleeding, bruised, battered, kinda broken mentally. It sees its mother and limps towards her as she embraces his muzzle and soothes him. You hear her mutter some words to him as he begins to limp away into the other room. I see now, yes, that you speak the truth. That pursuing what you desire, you will go to any length. I would like to say that that's not quite what we are talking about. Certain that is what you when believe. Hmm? Certain that is what you believe. Yes. For when someone is set upon by someone different, you're not gonna be taking it. You're not gonna act without any self defense. Even if later on it turns out that actually you were on the wrong side, your first instinct is always to defend yourself. To defend. The people around you, those you like, the country you love. And that is what Aldana is for me. The first instinct when you hear dragons are back. The dragons that in the stories of the war ravaged your lands aren't gonna be feelings of enthusiasm, but feelings of fighting back. Doesn't mean it was the right choice. But then again, I'm not sure how easy it would have been to come here and talk first if we had not taken any precautions. I'm sure it's wrong. But on the other hand, every creature wants to live, right? And creating these circumstances gives us a better chance of getting out of here alive. And that's why we took him. Many years ago, this forest, it used to be a big, a wild place, full of wonderful beasts. The humans that lived on the outskirts, 
They'd go into the forest. And they'll see those beasts. They will return and speak to their families. There are big, dangerous beasts in the forest. We must return and slay them. At least they come out of the forest. And trample our fields. And kill our children. And so they would go in. And they will be slain by the beast. For the beast was strong. And the survivors would return. And cry to their families. Of the injustice that has befell on them. How cruel was the fate that took their beloved away from them. And how important it was to take revenge against the beast. For it was monstrous and strong. And surely it would come out of the forest and trample their fields and kill their children. You have my children. State your demands. Like I said, the first one would be to hear your side of that story. How it actually happened way back when. Because... As that doesn't make survive... sense. The, the humanoid creatures in our kind were allied with the metallic dragons. Big beast as you refer to them. So was I. Then what happened? Your kind happened. That is very... Elaborate, please. Your kind has found a way. Enslave mine. They made a weapon. It broke our minds. They used it. And when I would like afflicted by the weapon, my rampaging children went into the outer world. All friendship was forgotten. All alliances were broken. And we were beasts again. You speak. Is she lying? About defending about yourself. The, the... And yet, the first thing you do is grab for the weapon. Like me, inside checks. What do I have as a brass dragon? Ugh. Okay, that's crap. 16. I'm good. Try to look up. So, our kind has created a weapon that can break your minds because our kind was afraid of you. Why did the Metallic dragons then not become hostile towards the human uh, humanoids, to our towards our kind. Why would they? Why were they not be enslaved then? Because they were your allies. Because they were different. Because they were pretty in kind. They protected you. It was ours who had to get rid of. And while I might... those sentiment can be understood towards my other colored kin, was it not Grugal who promised me the change? Wasn't the first to betray me. Was not the last. Who was the first? You see her face. It was the first time in this conversation distort a little, showing signs of hatred so deep. Did 
You can't even begin to fathom it. Traitor. Crimson bitch. The red sorceress Rahastra. Oh, Understand, humans. You standing in front of me is not a benefit of your craftiness or your strength, but of the eons I've spent waiting. I have been betrayed by my loved. My friends, by the gods, have no reason or intention to trust again. This time I'll take was mine. I'll be the one to protect my children. So bargain for your lives, now that you've heard my story, but demand no more of me. What is it exactly that is yours? This kingdom? This world. Why? And not. You took it from me. Should I not take it back? From my understanding, your world was the forest before. Not the entire world. And you expect or... me to believe I can keep my children safe if we stay in a single forest? I'll make this world my garden. And fine, I'll even keep your kind in it. Those who deserve it. My demands are not Beyond reasonable. Why, some of them are already complete. What are they? The death of a jailer. The death of a cheater. And the death of a traitor. And punishment. Those who slaughtered my children. Uh, as much. Will you put your lives on the line, sacrificed to protect your children? I mean, that's the reason we're here, right? You claim you've been betrayed by the Scarlet Sorceress and by your lover and by the gods. Can't you see there's a common theme here? And what makes you believe that I care? Well, it just makes me... It makes me prone to not believing you. You say everyone betrays you all the time. Fine. You, you have been imprisoned for 347, close to, no, 348, right? 348 years. Yes. I don't know. I have how been told that that, that is how much time has passed in your realm. Okay. I don't know how long that feels to you. Not um, long enough to forget. It's, it's not... My point being is we have spent our lives chasing 
but others told us what we should consider monsters. And we have met those monsters and have found them to be either tr the true monsters that they have been told out to be or not at all. But the common theme among those who are not what history tells them to be is that they chose not to be those monsters. Either by shedding their previous nature and fighting against it, overcoming it, or simply because they were made out to be those monsters. If you ask me, and I'm not you, I cannot speak for, to you, but the only thing is, is to ask. We are at a, at a point where we can start a new, a new relationship between dragons and our humanoid kind, where we can live with each other. Jay needs to go. Hi. Yeah. He's a monster. He has betrayed me. I hate him. Yeah, I know. I was. Just... I mean, it has been like five hours. You will be punished for this yeah. transgression against me. Not trying with me. Disappear from my sight. I'll... I don't wish to see you again. Get in. I will get in slick thruster. We are at a point where we can come together and discuss cohabitation. I am not interested in your words. You put a demand in front of me. I listened. What you want else to keep your do you want of me? So you want to keep your children safe. Back. We want to keep our kind safe. You leave this realm and go back to the Feywild, never to return here. Alternatively, there's a wonderful kingdom to the south of here that we do not care for. But we have the whole this world, kingdom. just not this place. Alternatively, I slaughter you before your earthly world. I find my children. Oh! And I slaughter whoever has them. Your children will be dead before you get to them. And I will build a world for the rest of us to survive. Yes. You make me you choose willing... between two of my children and all other of my children. No, we are not trying that. We, what we, the all, the only thing we want is a space safe for us too, for our kind. Much like what you want to create for your children. Your kind will be kept safe. That, that is what you are saying. Listen to yourself if I was the same saying to you, saying the same thing to you. Just bow down and your children will be safe. Would you trust me? The one who has killed of your kind because your kind has killed me too just yesterday <laughs> you know did you perhaps come out with a sword swinging much no, like you went into we the forest intending no. to find my children and kill them no we never intended to come into the forest to kill your children. That was never the intention. The fight went south, from what I remember.
We had no idea if you would even give us a chance to have a conversation. The idea was always to capture your children before any more people get killed. Were you not safe in the Feywild? Would you be safe in the confinements of your... Safe but unhappy. True. The Feywild is a whole yeah, plane. It's just one. Have you been there? I've known of creatures that have. How nice. So, okay, the Feywild is a shit place. I can only imagine. But this material plane that we are currently residing in, this is a... I have no idea how big even this world is. I'm sure there must be a way where we can negotiate for a place for, for you to live in and for us to live in. You speak the words I've heard before. You might mean what you speak. The children will mean it. Their children might. The children, the children of your children. They will forget. They will plot to secure their future. Another weapon will be made. Another war will be waged. I will not be losing another war. I understand why you think that way, but if you don't give us a chance to become better, I don't... I don't deny that, that our kind has a lot of fucking issues. But without proper education and guidance, this hate will only continue. Also, it's and not... Sorry, go ahead. With, without giving us a chance to become better, we won't become better. You will. Under my guidance. There's a big difference between guidance and dominion. And yet, the cattle in your ranches is so happy. Turns towards Melora. And safe. We've actually stopped eating cattle lately. How nice. Yeah, we haven't. You've come and with large words. But you come with no actions. We've just released one of your children. What? To show good you faith. have another in your grasp. We have two. You speak of trust. You speak of change. And yet again, you hold my kin above my head, like a swore raised. You only... hold this entire kingdom over our heads. You and have I promised the elves to slaughter you have... your kind if you do not. Do what Just I tell you. Compare them to cattle in the cage, so yeah, sort of. Fine, song yeah. birds then. They're pretty. And if we get to an agreement here. Or even if we just leave with our lives, we are willing to let the other ones go free. That is not the point. Like I said at the beginning, everyone always looks out, no one wants to die. This was our way to 
not die. But after this conversation is through, they can be released. Or you can't. Let me offer you a deal. You let my children go. Now, they return to me. And you, and you, and you, and you, you stay. I think with you. I can walk into the grave it crawled out from. What thing? And then. Out of character, I'm Zardos, Zardos. Oh. To find my husband wherever he is. And he will die. And then we find the traitor. And she will die. What and then that? the four of you will pay the price of slaughtering my children. And then I will believe that you know of sacrifice. And I will talk to your kings. I will talk to your queens. Of the gardens. If that is what it, stay, it takes, I'm willing to lay down my life. If we have insurances that once that all has been done and accomplished and we lay down our lives that you just won't take over as ruler of this world that you will take a seat at the table of negotiation or cohabitation on equal level to those who currently rule this world. You have as much guarantee as you are offering me, which is nothing else but a word. I know. I even know who have to find your husband. Don't know who the traitor is. But... Don't know if the traitor is still alive. Even. Wasn't there another, also a cheater? I don't remember anything about hearing that person. God damn <laughs> fucking talk! <laughs> it fucking kill the mood. It's midnight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, out, out, out of character, the the, the traitor was the Hastra, right? The, yes. the, the sorceress. Yeah. Because okay. ours mother, yeah. Yeah, uh, I don't think uh, out of character we ever heard anything about her. I think the, it was the grandmother. She did. She told us about her. Oh. She told, she told, she told only the Leos. He's the only one who knows what that name means. Yeah. Okay. And okay, I'm so pretty sure was... it's the grandmother, not the mother. How long is the spell ticking? Cause oh god damn it! Sixteen hours. Fuck. No. Anything else you want to say? Yeah. Since this seems a bit of an unfair deal, since you get everything in actions, our lives, the traitors' lives, you Don't get it in around. action, and then we just get your word. But we will not be here to uphold you to your word. And there are very few people strong as us that may uphold you to your word. Do you see where I'm going? Here is the thing. You bargain not for the future of your kind here. 
but for its permission to exist. That's a rough way to phrase it. And there's too many spears I had to claw out of my back. You must not understand. You need not accept. You only have to bow. And pray at your descendants. Are just as smart as you hopefully will prove to. I need not threaten you. Merely promise. It's... It all sounds to me so much that we're paying for the sins of others. This kingdom is not what it was 350 years ago. As you say that, after that pause, you catch her as she has turned away and taken a step. Turns around, glances to you. Yes. As I have paid. This blood can only be washed down with more blood. And then Fundamental. we see a face distort once more. I All calmness gone. Down. Mask of hatred. Okay, never mind. Because this is what you do while you promise me peace. I think I do not hear the foul words uttered on the other side of this world. The same world that destroyed the, br that destroyed the mind of my children all those centuries ago. What? Speak of trust, and you hold a knife behind your back. I just work. She snaps now. around. I use chain shape to turn it. Grow your feet, grow your feet. Slaughter them, tear them limb from limb. Make sure no body remains to be resurrected. I have a traitor to kill. And you see, as she takes a leaping jump, the tree next to her tears open as she jumps into the portal, and the tree closes behind her. The two dragons... There's no option to cast a spell. <laughs> she didn't cast a spell. She doesn't need to cast a spell. Mm. Did you think she cast plant growth for the last three months to make that forest? Yes, yes, that's why I think yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Level spell slaughter run. You underestimate my power! <laughs> and yet, oh, the dragons we made snarl it. approaching you. Next week we'll roll initiative. Nice. What, could I, could I squeeze?